Hello. I'm Heston. And it's your boy, Dame. How y'all doing? And we're definitely not experts. Hello again. Very right. happy to see you, my guy. What's <laughs> going on, man? What's up, my guy? You know, not shit. You know, just kind of chilling. Uh, definitely excited about uh, what we're about to talk about hell tonight. Yeah, hell so. yeah. A uh, big shout out to the Madre. Um, she she got me some belated birthday gifts, uh, one of which included some special edition blue mason jars, which are fucking awesome. And I don't know if it's like a southern thing or something, but I, I fuck with mason jars like big time when I it comes too. to like my alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it's great, man. I made us some raspberry lemonades, got some Tito's in here. Like we're chilling, bro. So cheers to you, my guy. Yeah, Hell sure. yeah. Let's go. Okay, so I think we should kick the show off with our shit list um we talked about this a little bit i i bitch a lot i got a lot of shit to talk about i got a lot of shit that irritates the fuck out of me and damien although he can get there is not as what's the word not as uh I, I it, it would be hard for you to pick a word bro. yeah so you're just not a bitch i'm a bitch <laughs> no nah, i mean you're not a bitch either it's just more things bother you oh, for more sure. so than for me. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Without so I mean, I don't know. I, I but I, I do I do have some shit to throw on the yeah, shit list. I'm today. excited to hear it. Yeah, I've got for some sure. really good things to talk about this week. I'm really excited. Um, do you want to go first, or would you like for me to go first? So I only have one, but I mean okay. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll go first then. Yeah. Okay. So the first, it, it's going to be a, a company. It's the U.S. Postal Service. I'm. Like, this has been, like, boiling with me for a little while now, but I kind of got through it and got over it, no big deal, but then it arose again when uh, my mom was getting me my birthday gifts, and I'm over their bullshit, bro, and and this is, this is like, very particular to my experience. Um, There's a reason for that. So, USP, okay, so right now, because of COVID, my apartment complex is not accepting packages in the office because they're not doing, like, face-to-face interactions, and I've been ordering a lot of my stuff, and I also got my packages delivered from my mom through Amazon. Right, but they can't just deliver them to the door? That's where I'm going with this. The so fuck? USPS, even if you make an order through Amazon, um, and oh, 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 here's some context. Amazon's getting way too many orders, and they can't fulfill all of them on their own as far as like shipping goes. So to be able to honor like their shipping times and dates and like what they're saying on their website, they've partnered with U- uh, UPS, FedEx, and USPS to fulfill some of those orders. Good so, luck. like, half of the orders you get on Amazon will arrive through Amazon and, like, whatever kind of delivery instructions you have or anything, they follow those, such as drop it off at the door. But the problem is that when you make that order, even though you have those predetermined settings, like, for Amazon, if one of these other carriers, particularly USPS, because FedEx and UPS will usually still drop it off at the door. But if it goes through right. USPS, they don't fucking do that. So, well, I'm, and, and... I don't think any company should. <laughs> Wait, drop it off at the door? Yeah. Why? I just don't feel that they should do that only because... Like, you're worried about, like, packages being stolen and stuff, or what? Bro, I, packages get stolen, like, every day. Yeah. Based on, like, my job that I do, I talk to maybe five, maybe to ten people whose yeah. packages get stolen every day. I believe you. And it's because of no signatures required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if, if we're going to mail it out, right... Mostly everybody's at home, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's Corona. So if you have to sign for it, you just have to have somebody there. The problem is a lot of people are still working too, though, but you can't distinguish that. So then, well, that, my thing is like, just the delivery. Like it has nothing to do with the signature. Let, let, let me let me continue my thought though. So I understand. Like the the problem here is that like our office is not accepting packages and. Uh, my mailbox is it's an it's an apartment mailbox it's it's like a foot by a foot it, if it's small it's like six inches by six inches it's small as fuck and nothing you order will ever fit in there unless it's something extremely small and i was coming through the problem like when with getting everything for the show ordering all kinds of stuff and a lot of it went through usps just because of this shortage bullshit and this is where it gets like fucked bro so they would initially not deliver the package they would say we attempted but failed obviously because the package is not gonna fucking fit in my goddamn mailbox exactly but exactly but exactly 
<laughs> it would go back, right? You get an update and they're like, hey, we weren't able to successfully deliver. We're going to attempt tomorrow. But there's no reason to attempt tomorrow. The situation will have not changed. The mailbox size will have not changed. And you want to know right. what's great? The same, the same page, when you go to USPS, it'll say, like, f- delivery failed. Please pick up in store. Like, our postal, at the po- your nearest post office. And dead ass, bro, two different times I went after I got the tracking number and it had gotten already sent out for re-delivery again after it told me to go pick it up only for them to obviously fail at delivering the package again because literally nothing has fucking changed. I'm so over it, bro. And not only that, those are the two fuck ups, right? But all the other times I still had to go to the post office to pick up all my other deliveries. So fuck that bullshit. Like, straight That's up. like what I'm, if you're so, gonna be taking orders from Amazon, you like if that partnership is gonna exist, y'all gotta meet the same standards. Fuck that. I agree with that. Straight now, up. I, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now. I think it's preferred for them to go to the door and knock on the door. Mm-hmm. But with a lot of these companies, especially with now, don't nobody want their door knocked on or nothing. Well, so I mean, they're they, taking. They might do that if it's a house, but like in apartments, like it's just different. So that's what makes it more crazy. Actually, most of the time, I hear that FedEx or UPS actually wants to take it to the front office for you. They'll but, do that, yeah. But they don't. They literally come up to your apartment. They knock. I don't even think they knock. I'm going to just be honest. Yeah, I don't think they, they knock. They might be full They of just shit. set the shit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they leave. And that's it, bro. And what happens is within five minutes nowadays, bro, that shit's fucking gone. Like, that is gone. I've it's been gone. very fortunate enough to not have that experience. It's gone. But y- y- you're probably not wrong in a lot of cases. I, I mean, do you? Well, so you said you you had to get an order reshipped, right? Well, it's just after like they quote unquote like fail to deliver right. is what I'm saying. So, so like, do you think that they just and, never brought it and then they're just now really oh, no, bringing 100%. it? Yeah, or yeah. Do like, you think so, they so, brought so, it and no, no, then somebody no, no, took no, it? No, no, that's exactly what's happening. They're they're getting the packages and then like they have it there like in the mail truck. And then, like, when they go to put all the mail like, in the mail in the mail buildings, like where all the mailboxes are, the package obviously doesn't fit, so they just take it back to the postal the postal store. Well, that's such dick because a lot of these orders have an apartment on it or yeah, yeah, this that's on what it. I'm saying. Yeah, so like that's what's <sighs> bullshit is like that's tough. instead of you like that's just tough. delivering the package to the apartment. It's Corona though, bro. I mean, what corona. do you expect? No, fuck that. Yeah, no. I mean, it has to be an excuse. It has to be. That's everyone's excuse, right? Yeah, I mean, it's easily used. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you're right. Right, like you're right. You're right. It, you're it's right. Corona you're now. Right. Like, what can you do? Fuck. Go up the stairs well, and bring my shit. <laughs> I mean, dude, just come knock on my door. I'm here. Here's the thing. I'm here. Here's the thing too. Like, let's just compromise, right? Like, how about you just like don't attempt the delivery at all? Like, I'll just go to the post office. Right, I can pick it up from a drop. Like, yeah, yeah. I, or like drop right. it off at a Walmart or something. And like, I can any, do it any from of those there. options. Walgreens, yeah, all those kind oh, of no, places yeah. have yeah. that. Um, oh, what's it called? FedEx will do that. One yeah. of the packages did get yeah. dropped at FedEx. Exactly. I mean, at the, at the Walgreens up the street when they failed their delivery, which, which is was badass sick. for you because yeah. Walgreens, Walgreens is like two minutes from where you're at. So hell yeah, yeah, it's dope as shit <laughs> for sure. Okay, well, what about you? What, what do you have? Who, who are you salty as so, fuck? So on my night, I have Grubhub. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Enlighten I, me. Um, well, they so do. I get it. It's Corona. It's COVID, and so there are a lot of orders and shit. But bro, I'm getting a lot of orders now where I'm paying forty bucks for two people to eat, and I don't have all my shit. Or they have it where uh, on these apps, you know, you can add special instructions, extra oh, sure. this, extra that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're just all the way cut the fuck off, and it says contact me. Bro, I'm not gonna call you. It's 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 a delivery order. So I respect bro, they, that. they've been fucking up my shit. Or, do, do they even text you or anything? Because like I'll get text me- like when I, I go through postmates so, and like they'll usually hit me up and be they like, will, "Hey, like, did you mean this or that?" Or they will text or, or call me hours later when my shit's <laughs> not there. What? <laughs> and then they just don't show up with it, bro. Like I swear, or they'll show up with it and then like I won't have my drinks or I won't have my, and it's it's starting to get ridiculous. And, and here, here, here's here's some context too. Damien, he's a foodie. Like, he fucks with food. I'm fucking, bro, you yeah. know this, bro. Yeah, yeah. I look like I'm little, but, bro, I yeah. fuck no, some you eat, food. You eat like a champ. Bro. And, and um, bro. 
you oh uh, y- you pay for the Grubhub too. Like you have like, Fuck yeah. yeah. I pay for your little delivery yeah, fee, yeah. all this extra shit. No, no, no. You pay for the service though too. Like all yeah, of it, monthly. all of it, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah I got like the you yeah. know the and little discounts and yeah, and then and then they're not bringing me all my shit. So this so is a like, consistent issue. Consistent, like, bro. Yeah. This has happened multiple times now, and so now it's starting to become an issue just a little bit because I want to. You give I them mean, some sauce when they ask. You I can shit. drive and get the food, but, but bitch, if you I'm getting it, it delivered, yeah, it's a service, and I'm paying all this extra money for it, yeah. just bring me the shit that I asked for. Like, I agree. or let me add extra shit. Like, it's that simple. <laughs> and bro, yeah. I get it. I don't fucking do the Grubhub like for now, and then have a whole bunch of shit. I do Grubhub for like an hour or two, at, like after I even order it. So, I mean, y'all are getting the order way beforehand. That's true. Like, they and have so, plenty of time to get it right. You know what I'm saying? They're not. It's fucking and annoying, that's bro. stupid. I fucking get it. annoying. They're definitely on my shit list. I'm almost done using them. Oh. It's that bad. Oh. I'm, I'm, and so. Where, w- would, you, would you use a different service? I use Uber Eats, too. But I don't like Uber, either. I, I've, I've never really liked Uber. Favor is pretty cool. And they're uh, also the only place that Chick-fil-A partnered with for delivery. I tried Favor. Bro, I got a six-pack of beer. The oh, other day sweet. from Favor. How was that? No, it wasn't pleasant. Uh, uh, Sixteen elaborate. fucking dollars, bro. Jesus. For Sixteen. What? Jesus. For beer? Six, bro. A six pack like, of not even like, those, like the IPAs, t- like- bro. <laughs> not even the tall fucking cans, bro. Like the, oh, the, little, like mid, the little mid, the middies, yeah. the middies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen and some change, bro. So just like a hella delivery fee. Stupid as fuck. Yeah, I don't, stupid as fuck. That's the only thing I don't like about it as well. Oh I can my fuck gosh! With you yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty much almost I'm almost pretty much done with Grubhub. I like Uber Eats, but between like DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub and not like I mean Postmates has been pretty good for me. I'll be honest, like they're they're they've been consistent for me. But they're all they're know. all fucking me. Yeah, okay. they're all fucking me at this point. Maybe maybe this is like the universe telling you that like you need to stop just go get your own food. fucking food, right? <laughs> Either that or like don't get it, yeah. Right, just don't <laughs> eat, right? I mean, well, yeah. no, 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 give food, but like don't be a piece of shit, you know what I well, mean? Well, then like, well, what the fuck? It's like, bro, I'm I'm only asking for minor shit. Just give me some ranch. I just want extra <laughs> ranch for my wings, bro. <laughs> don't give like, me how food. do you drop off ranch or how do you drop off wings to somebody with no ranch? That is kind of weird. I think Dude. I think they're just not checking. Like I think they get the order and they're like thanks and then they just dip. Like That's they don't check. That's fucking it idiotic. They. I agree. It's idiotic as fuck. I agree. Fuck. And I mean, I'm yeah. not one to judge, but I mean, well, come on, it's bro. Their job. You know, at least put blue cheese in there or something. Like I mean, yeah, throw there's a, alternatives, a bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking retarded. So Grill Hub definitely. Um, again, as I always mention. I don't really have a lot of people to really shit list on. Um, you 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 have to do something extremely kind of crazy to make me be like, bitch, you're on my shit list. Grubhub has definitely overstepped the boundaries. Um, in multiple lines. We'll give a shit. consolation prize to Best Buy. We had a really oh poor experience gosh, with Best bro. Buy. And Damien I'm doesn't want to talk about it. So I will talk about it actually. Okay, okay, All right, do it. Yeah, please. So this is what makes this all fucking crazy. Yeah. We go to Best Buy, guys. Right. And I want to get a fucking laptop for the podcast show, of course. So, I have an HP. That's fine. But I wanted a fucking... uh, I I wanted an Apple. And uh, so, the amount of money I had, I was short, right? Now, let's be real. I was not short by an extreme amount. It wasn't something crazy that I wouldn't have been able to to meet. So, I was going to try to finance... A yeah, MacBook. Just, just so you could, like, walk out that day. So I could walk out with it yeah. that day. Um, my shit came back. I couldn't take it. Now, the only thing that's weird about that is... So I'm, I'll be real with you guys right now. My fucking credit score is like a 715. Like, my shit is not garbage. Now, I mean, depending on who you are, 715 does sound low. But for most people, they would, they would die for a 715, dog. Yeah. They would die for that. Like, that's pretty intense. And you're a black dude. And, I mean, that's, bro, you know what I'm saying, bro, that's gnarly to have a credit score that high, but I pay my shit, and I take care of shit, Respect. but I didn't have enough history. Yeah. And that just doesn't make any problem. sense, bro. My credit score is really good, but, like, I, my, my history is shallow. That, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't take a lot of gambles, but if I do, I handle them. So that should well, mean yeah, enough. That's the whole point, yeah. That should mean enough, right? That's I what so. credit well, for me, is, yeah, right? For me, because I, I have a similar issue, too, but my credit history is perfect, and I'm just like... 
what y'all don't fuck with perfect <laughs> i mean it's <laughs> dumb it's like oh well, it's not, i mean you only well, i also think not having <laughs> any sense of history is also kind of appealing too because it's like I'm like, I don't take credit out on a lot of shit. I just, I, I, shit. I just buy my shit. I just yeah, buy it. I just buy it. Yeah. So how do you get penalized for that? I, I think it's very strange. I, I think I think it's a scam. I think like they want people to try to exactly. commit to too many things and then not be able to pay it and then you have bad credit. Exactly. Like, it's just a big joke. So Hessa was with me, right? We we try I try to finance this laptop and the place says that I don't qualify for it. And I mean that's okay and that's fine. But technically, I, I I mean I make more than enough money, and I was I was be able to have yeah, afforded you should, that. You should have qualified for bro, it, bro. Within a month, I would have had that yeah. little extra eight hundred dollars that they really wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking paid off. Okay. So yeah. But I mean, here we are, right? And I got a fucking stupid ass <laughs> HP. So <laughs> I like. My I mean, HP now too. I ain't gonna say stupid ass HP, right? That's no disrespect to Hewitt Packard <laughs> at all. But come on, man. Like I'm I'm a I'm an Apple guy. I respect. Uh, you. you know, I'm 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 an Apple dude. I so I want. Well, Apple here's the, here's the thing, right? We, we went in for a computer, uh, for a laptop, and then, like, Damien found the one he wanted, and it was, things were still weird because it was corona, you know, we had our masks on and everything, and this guy was helping us, and, you know, at first, it was like, okay, like, this is the computer we want to do, and then we started talking the money, and then, you know, Damien didn't have enough, so they looked into financing, and then that didn't work either, so they had one other option that you also tried that was, like, this, like, loan System right, it was thing. like a finance, like how it people. It was kind of like a finance. It's like how people do it with their fucking phones. Yeah. When yeah. you get a new iPhone, they're like, yeah. you need to pay thirty dollars a month. Right. For well, like for this, they were like, you have to pay the whole amount off right. in like three months, otherwise you right. charge like. A and I'm like, dude, money. I have sixteen hundred. This shit's yeah. twenty four hundred bucks. Yeah, like holla at you, dude. Boy. If I have sixteen hundred right yeah, now to drop true. on it, like then what's what's really the problem? Yeah, I think that's it's weird too. That's a huge amount of money. I agree. If, now, if I came in saying I got four hundred to drop yeah, on, yeah, that'd it, be stupid. I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Bro, I, I have sixteen hundred out of the twenty four hundred, and yeah. I can drop that right now. Yeah, and and this it's trip to stupid, Best Buy bro. that should have taken like. Like 10, 15 minutes. We ended up being there for like an hour. And we were there <laughs> for and, a long time, bro. I try to practice patience in my life. I really do. But we both left like salty as fuck. And Damien is thinking about never going back now. Yeah, Best Buy might just get marked the fuck off. Because <laughs> I like could always rubber? go to. You're just going to throw them both the fuck I out. I mean, I could go to a cons or a Walmart or yeah, something like could. that and buy a fucking Apple That's fucking true. computer. Yeah. I don't even have to go back to you. That's true. You know? Yeah. I like Best Buy. Careful about ordering it on Amazon, though. Cause Best Buy is my favorite USPS fucking store. Might just hold it. When I was younger. But I feel that. Yeah, that was pretty garbage. So yeah, those are those would be my two. Best Buy snuck in there. But yeah, they they were some hoes for what they did. Okay. Like for sure. I feel I, that. I was gonna give them a pass, right? Because I could have I could have called them out, but yeah, now y'all know what appropriate. the fuck is up with yeah. this stupid ass fucking <laughs> HP in my in front of my fucking face right now. So <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> the fuck, dude. I feel that. Um the the next people on my shit list is AAA. Uh, are you familiar with AAA? I, I am. Yeah. They've always been pleasant with me, though. I agree. All of my past <laughs> experiences been really with good. them have been phenomenal. What However, did they do? Bruh, I got a fucking rant. My guy. Okay, so I'm going to provide some context. Um, I was letting a friend of mine drive my car around just because I needed a vehicle, you know, to go to work and stuff. And we were cool. So Makes sense. Yeah, I was like, all right, whatever. Right. So what happened was... Um, while they were driving the vehicle, the, the car started smoking from the engine and they started hearing like a weird noise. So they pulled over and they stopped and, um, they stopped at a gas station. A couple of guys took a look at it and, um, they, they said that it was just like a leak, like, like a, uh, like a Freon leak that resulted in the coolant, like leaking out. So there was like a legitimate okay. leak that that's, resulted. That's legitimate. Well, I mean, it overheats the car, you know, that's like right. if you right. lose your, your, exactly. your, your fluid, then that's why you, know, you want yeah, that in you'll the see car. Smoke. Right. So. Um, I, I had been thinking about signing up for AAA for a couple of weeks at that point, but I just hadn't yet. Um, so I was like, well, fuck, like I gotta get AAA. I gotta get the car towed because y- you know, your car's already overheating. You don't need to be driving it around anywhere. Honestly, wouldn't be a good idea yeah, unless and, you want to bust the, your whole shit up. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So the idea was yeah. like, we don't know how much damage has been done yet. Let's try to avoid causing any additional damage. Cause it's fucking quarantine and I'm not in a place to be dropping fucking car repair payments. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, so I called AAA. I signed up, you know, got everything rocking and rolling and they have a couple of different tiers. You got your base tier. Um, they're all the same. Basically. It's just like how much coverage you get for towing. Right. The first tier is seven miles, second tier, hundred. And then the third one's like 500. 
I so, say I say fuck the first tier for sure. Because yeah, yeah, I've had triple A. Yeah. I did the best one, but the middle one is good as well. I did but the middle one. That that first one miles. is. I'm never gonna need to be towed further. That than first that. one would, bro. You you would have to be getting like chauffeured everywhere, yeah. like to get yeah. that one. You I know, agree. like yeah, yeah, so, for sure. So for me, like I signed up for the second tier. You know, I got through. They got me to the sales department. Signed up. You know, you know, thank you, Mr. Hardy. Thank you, Mr. Hardy. You know, we got you signed up. Everything's good. You're good for towing for 100 miles. Everything's cool. Awesome. Do you want to schedule a tow? Yeah. Okay. So they get me over to the request line, the, to the request department. And um, I let them know, like, hey, I just signed up for my service. Here's my info. Sign up. And they're like, great. Looks like you're well within your towing distance. It was only 16 miles. So they're like, bet, like, you're good. So I was like, awesome. Cool. Super easy. And then um, they, they do have, like, they do have a, a hustle, though where you have to pay an additional $75 if you want same day service as like when you sign up. And yeah. I don't even I don't even give them bullshit for that. Like that's fair. Like I that, just signed uh, up same like, day? Like, yeah, same, same day. Same day? Fuck yeah, I'll pay that. I same. mean, if I if I, was like, I need it, you know. Same. I yeah. was like cool. I'll pay the money. For like, sure. I'm cool with that. That's no sweat at all. So, um it's you know, it takes a couple hours but uh, the tow guy shows up and then he t- um, he asks me for the location and I tell him and he says that's out of my distance. And I'm like what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I signed up for the second tier service. Like, what's the problem? He's like, no, you didn't. Like, check this out. And he Got me, you. And it, said me, it showed <laughs> that I was a, like, like the lowest tier, which is only seven miles. And for for those who may not know, sixteen is greater than seven. So I was thinking that when they told you like you were good, I was like, yeah, wait, you're so nine I had over. Two separate you said people seven. Tell me, like, yeah, they're like, you're well within your range, so like you're fine. But you said like, you had cool. the middle tier, so. Yes. So th- this is what happened. So mm. I, I told the tech, uh, I told, I told the tower, I was like, that's bullshit. Like I signed up for it. Like, what's the deal? You know? And he was like, let me call my dispatch. Let's see if we can figure it out. And I was like, okay, bet. So while he was doing that, I downloaded the app on my phone and I checked it and it said I was a base tier member. However, you can check like pending payments on your account. And it showed that I was charged for the second tier service. Because the base tier is like 35 and the second tier was like 78 Exactly. So, so like, like, it, well, it said like pending amount yeah. like $78. So I was like, okay. Take so a look here. So it looks here. like we're all on the same page. But for some reason, my account says some other bullshit. Right. What the hell? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? So I call them and I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? And they told they were happy to inform me that all new members that join AAA have a seven-day grace period before you get the level of service that you signed up for. So as a new member, you stay a base service member for the first seven days. So let this be a PSA to anyone else (laughs) that's been thinking about signing up for AAA. Deadass, it's $78 for a year. You get eight toes up to... You get eight Right, right. right. Yeah, like it's legit. What? Seven days though? Yeah. If I pay that amount of money, that shit better... Yeah, and then I also paid the same day oh, fee too, so I paid boy. like over one hundred and fifty dollars for this tow. So they, you, you were asked out then. Yeah. So I, <laughs> well, here's the thing. You know, we, we worked in a call center together, so like, and I was very good at my job. We like, know I'm what it very is, customer man. service oriented. Yeah. Like I know how this shit works. Exactly. And here's the thing too. Like I'm not a fucking Karen. Like I'm not trying to get shit for free. I'm not trying to cause any bullshit for anybody. For me, it's just like just give me what y'all told me you were gonna give me. That that's all that I ask. And if y'all fucked up, just make it up to me. And by make it up to me, I mean, don't give me free shit. Just, Not gonna just work give me that what way. you said you're going to give me. It ain't going to work and that way. And they, they were like, okay, like we apologize. This is the policy. We're going to pull the call and see what's up. So I was like, okay, cool. They're going to pull the call. They're going to know exactly the conversation that I just had that I told them about. And then but you know what happens cool. when they say, I'm going to pull the no, no, call no, no. So, and so, I'm going to... Yeah, no, I know that's usually shit, bullshit. Dude. They actually you did. knew. Here's the thing. They pulled the call. But what? They confirmed that what I said was correct. They were like, you're right. Nobody ever set the expectation but, that But this, you still got shitted I, on, huh? I got shitted on <laughs> hard. They were, like, they were like, you're right. And I was like, so I'm right. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, so you acknowledge that the wrong... I was not set the right expectations. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, and you're not going to do anything about it. And they were like, no. no. we're not, bro. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's like, literally what the fuck are you talking about? Corona COVID, bro. It doesn't fucking matter no more. Dude, they just like well no, they said that they used to be able to override it, but like their policy changed and like not no one in management can change it because I got escalated and I was just like and I even talked to her too. And it just fucked me up. But like they acknowledged that like they fucked me and they were like, Well, have a nice day. <laughs> I, I, like, I personally so, think that all that is is like that was you being able to see what life was about to be like now that it like post COVID, Corona and shit. 
We'll it's, it's, it's about to be fucking garbage, bro. We'll see. I mean, you can say we'll see. You've already experienced it. I just... I mean, if the person set the expectation of me from the very beginning, which they said was a policy that was already in place, you, you want to know what I think it is? Dead ass? Bro. You know, no, no, no. You want to know what I think it is? <laughs> it's the sales department. It, 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 Just it, like our bro. fucking sales it department. It always used comes to back to yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah, How many calls did you take department. for the all company we work for, right? All no them. names. All of them. Yeah, no we're names, not, we're right? I not dox anybody, but it was bullshit. I don't want to say no. I don't want to say the name of the company. I was putting people on blast like hard, and they didn't like that shit. We're not going to say the name of it because I don't want to bash it. No, we don't need to. It's still a good company. It's still does, but You still work there. We don't need to be doing that. Right. You know what I'm talking about, though. We'll do it when you don't work there anymore. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, yeah. You get a bunch of calls, and a person is like, wait, I was told this. This is everything to everybody, and like, bro, look, and then that's they call you. Is, you're like, bro. well, why the fuck is all this wrong? And you're just like, I don't fucking know, dude. This is the like, thing, though. If every company does, every company's smart. To me, think about I it. I mean, they're all trying to make money. That's think about thing. it, right? Yeah. That's that's the whole motive, it's right? Sleazy as fuck. If you know that you can say some shit a certain way and convince a person to buy this and do this and do that, yeah, yeah. but then still fuck them and say, well, you don't get this because this is what happened. What can the customer portion of that really power. do after that? All nigga? you can do is just cancel your service. It don't matter. Yeah. You're either going to cancel this service, yeah. which you've already paid us, so it doesn't matter, yeah. or you're just going to pay us again, and we're going to... We gonna... <laughs> yeah. Well, one thing, like from, <laughs> like, from on, my bro. frustrations, they, I, I told them, I was like, okay, so the only reason why I, offer, I paid the same day service fee was because I was told I'd be able to get towed to my location same day. So if I have to pay extra to get towed there anyways, I'm not going to pay the same day service fee. So they refunded that to me, which was awesome. I will give them credit for that. And they even offered to give me a free a free visit too. And That's I was like, credit. Well, I told them I was you like, have I'm, to give credit for that. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they, they, they did what they could. Yeah. So in a way, like yeah. I can respect that. But at, at the same time, like I said, I'm not trying to get shit for free. So I even told them I was like, I don't need right. a free visit. Like I'm gonna get what I paid for. No sweat. It's cool. I was just heated as fuck because. It's hard for me to accept that like somebody it, it acknowledges that they fucked up and then they just don't do anything about it. Like that's fucked up. I mean, but that's bad policy. So look, let's be real. Worst case scenario, that'll happen. Even if it does though, what do you do? Like what so when I make decisions with a lot of stuff, bro, mm -hmm. I literally just think about the worst possible case I scenario. Do that. Prepare for like, the worst and then I don't I don't think about before. like oh it's gonna go through smoothly or it's I always think like it's gonna be fucked up. So then yeah. when it goes through smoothly, I'm like, holy fuck. I think All the right. same thing I think I kinda <laughs> feel the same way about people in general. Like most bro, people that's suck. how it is. Yeah, so if you just that's lower how your it expectations is. from like people then you won't be let down as much. Unfortunately, even with doing that, like I'm telling I, I you, bro. still find myself disappointed. I mean, it. I mean, either way, right? You're still gonna be disappointed, yeah. Because you you feel like the person that you're talking to, or the company you're talking to, or whatever you're doing, yeah, whoever it is, is so much more better. Well, they can be held to a higher standard. They can be held. That's to what I'm saying. I hold myself to. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you would think they're so much more better than what you think that they would treat you like, yeah. and then they treat you like, and then you're like, bitch, what the fuck? Wait, yeah, time I agree. out. Right. Yeah. Then, that, bro, let's be real. AAA is a, is a good oh, roadside great. assistance like, I, I fucking service. I would recommend service. their service to anybody. I would was, recommend that shit, just, too. They put a really bad taste in my mouth with that. But, mouth. exactly. In that's your why, case. That's why I'm doing this PSA right now. Everybody, exactly. like, if you're even thinking about getting AAA, if you don't have AAA, just get it. I think AAA is fucking fire, They're bro. great. I think everyone should have them. Now, they are on the shit list, though. It's just, yes. that's just how I go. Congratulations. They earned it. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> since, since you Welcome. fucked me over, I mean, I might still pay you money yeah. going forward, but damn, I did. I did it. let you bend me over real quick. Yeah, yeah. I Who took smell it. in the it ass? Good. No. Yeah, yeah. No Vaseline. No Vaseline. But um, no <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping I'm up. I'll just pay you some more money, and we'll be cool. And the next time it is Vaseline, like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm their sugar I, daddy, right? Like <laughs> I just pay them, and then they'll fuck me for time. time. <laughs> that bro, it's cool. that's what the government is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro like well, yeah so like what i uh, did was nutty, um, to avoid the same day service fee i just called them at 1201 at midnight so it was right like the next day to give yeah. it that <laughs> and then i got towed i still had to pay the extra You're for funny, the towing bro. but it came out to like cheaper than what the same day service fee was so i counted that as a win which was cool well is it a win it's only a win if you stay with AAA. I just stay with them. I still have them. Awesome. And well, I've actually, well, I've actually already they're, used they're them not since bad. I had a flat tire the other day, and they, they came and right. they took came care of it, which was sick. Yeah. There you go. So, right. Yeah, so it already, like, I've already right. got my money's worth. But so they're only in the shit list because they, they yeah, fucked you. Yeah, they fucked me at the beginning. In the one moment yeah, that they should have had I your back. the most. Yeah, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. That's. That's my point. Yeah. Bro. 
They, they really you let know, me down, man. You know what's funny? What's you that? could relate that shit to relationships and Anything. all kind of extra Anything. fucking shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Giving your all to one person who says they're going to do this and do that. And then lives. they don't. I and then they don't. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Fucking nutty, bro. Uh, the next person on my shit list is 343 Industries. They're responsible for making Halo. Um, I'm a really big Halo fan. I've been playing Halo since I was like eight years old. Just I have shit too. I the only thing is, Halo, I'm though. a PlayStation guy. Well, it's gonna so, be on PC but now. you know this. Yeah. So It's going to be on PC now, though. It sucks because I've been a huge Halo guy, but they're, ex- they're not PlayStation. Yeah. And and they were like, PlayStation will never get this game. Yeah, no. This is, I, no. Nah, yeah. Never. No. You know? So yeah. I, I agree with you, bro. I, I, yeah, I so feel. They're on my shit list because they the, the Halo Infinite reveal happened a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, dude, I'm going to keep it real with you. I... I was I'm really excited. Like it looks awesome and like are you going to play it? Yes, 100%. Do you think an hour into the game is going to feel like the rest? No, not this one. Do you think this um, one will be like, completely well, there, different? There's there's a way that you can look at that, right? Because like you have like, right. a bunch you have the Bungie made games and you have the 343 made games. I think this is going to feel more like a Bungie made game, which is a good thing. That's what we want. Because the 343 games, like Halo 4's campaign was awesome, but their multiplayer sucked. And then like for Halo 5, the campaign sucked, but the multiplayer was awesome. So for this one, like they're trying to bring it all together, but we haven't even gotten a multiplayer reveal yet. Well, they only showed campaign. The campaign reveal was sick, though. Like a lot of the ideas they have, I'm really excited about. But the one big piece of feedback that they have is the game looks kind of shit. Like its textures suck, bro. So this and is my point. I feel like all like all these games they're dropping are gonna be the same. As long as they could say it a certain way to get people to still buy it. Well, here's the thing. That's here's all. Thing. That's all that matters. It doesn't they matter if you it. like it, but right. if you buy it, yeah, of course. That's that's all we needed you to but do. But this is like the only right. exclusive Microsoft has at this point. Like this is the only like console selling title that, other than Fable, they announced a new Fable game and like that's gonna sell consoles for sure. But um, Halo is like it's it's their big hitter. So bro, they should they should also do Destiny. And I'm only saying nah, that Destiny be- has an exclusive. Well, not an exclusive. I'm only saying that because they, they did Sony. bring it to PS4. Mm-hmm. But Destiny, if they would have did it right, could have been like a Halo Xbox type of. Well, that was up of to a, Bungie. Of a game. I, I think Xbox was kind of done having exclusive rights well, deals with Bungie, but I think it was Bungie's. Bro. No, no, no. That was Bungie's decision because they partnered with Activision, and Activision wanted it to be everywhere. So, like, like they didn't really have a choice. I'll be real with you. I feel like. Xbox is starting to realize that they can make more money if they drop it to a PlayStation platform. That's what they're doing. Um, and they, this they is so play, they have the play anywhere where like you can play on phones and PCs. That's and stuff. what I'm saying. I think Xbox is going to go the way of um, of Sega. So I think they're still they're going to be like a software company. I think they're going to stop making Xboxes in the future. And they're um, just going to focus on making games that you can play. I everywhere. mean, I don't, I don't. Oh, their games are that is a bold that's statement. I, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. You think Xbox will stop? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, that's, I don't know if you knew this or not, but like insane. Sony and Xbox, they don't make any revenue from their consoles. So they sell no, their, they, they sell don't. Their consoles they make, for a loss. They make revenue from the games. It's all the shit. games, and that's yeah. so. The point I'm about to make on top of that is. Xbox drops a lot of games. Right. They only let PlayStation get certain yes. games, mm-hmm. and then or they don't. Right. PlayStation also does it back though. Oh well, yeah, yeah. For like sure. PlayStation has yeah. games that are like. I agree. No, bitch, you're not. So I, but I do feel mm-hmm. Xbox has a bigger platform. Yeah. To me. Well, Xbox. I'm a you PlayStation. Also have to remember, dude. Xbox is Microsoft. Microsoft is also a computer company. They make their so own computers. It makes. Yeah. You already have multiple. That's my better point. platform. Yeah, that's my point. So. To yeah, me, I think they're gonna if, stop making Xboxes. If what you're saying is true, mm-hmm. I'd be in love. Because, I mean, I It'd already told cool. you, I'm a PlayStation guy. Yeah. I don't hate really on Xbox like that. Mm-hmm. But the console war is stupid. I just buy it. I just like look at how the console looks, how the controllers work. I think the controller is the only thing that the really matters. The games you get. Yeah. You know, I look at the whole sure. perspective. Yeah, the um, to yeah. me, I think PlayStation is fucking way better. Um, now that's not a shit on Xbox because my the first system I've ever really played on the Nintendo Switch is was an nice. Xbox 360. 360 was cool. Now I've also played a, a PlayStation, a Dreamcast, uh, uh, you know, a GameCube. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went through. Dude, I fuck with a GameCube. I went through all the progressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But sure. when there's certain games you want to play, oh well, yeah, PlayStation doesn't Sony's, have a lot. Sony's single player experiences are are like you you can't compare to them. They're the best. 
It so God of War is to still me, like a right? In certain game. ways, Xbox is ahead, but they do dumb shit. And Sony I don't, I don't is think so. Sony is behind. I don't think so. But they do smarter shit. That, I mean, I think that's Sony's what, ahead. I don't want you to agree though. Yeah, that, and that's I've been an Xbox fan perfect. for almost my whole life. But especially now that I'm getting ready to go to PC too. Well, I started thing, off like with I said, Xbox. I buy all the consoles. Like I started I have, off I with have Xbox. I a Nintendo Switch. I have a PS4 and an Xbox. Right. So like I don't care. I started with Xbox. I don't want to finish with Xbox. I, me, <laughs> like I convert I, said, I don't think Xbox is going to be around. I'm with PlayStation. This might right. Be, this so might, you're like making my console. point. Like yeah. it, you know, it makes it seem kind of like Xbox had the first jump. Yeah, but they jumped too hard. Yeah, because this past this, this past couple too of, hard. these past couple of years, yeah. Microsoft they bought like ten individual studios. So like, they already own like a bunch of first party studios. So they could just launch all of it through their through their service like as microsoft and then they don't even have to lose money for making the xboxes the only reason why i think they would continue making the xboxes is because not everyone's playing on those other platforms so by having those consoles if you do get enough new like consumers that will continue to purchase games i can see why that would make sense but i think so, it's slowly tilting the other way where like it's it's gonna lose its value i don't think that it is and so we'll see I mean, I mean consoles are the, cool. the I way mean, the everything Xbox, is worked. They sell them at a loss for a reason, right? To so the way everything accessible. is worked, right? They're now it's cross platforming. Well, yeah. So that was the best thing for Xbox to happen. Yeah, it's great because it now helps, it helps with Rocket League a lot. You find, what you find what will happen instead of Xbox dropping the game that's just for Xbox? They'll just drop it, and it'll be a game that anybody can well, get. Well, that's what I was saying. And then they they but at so, that point, what's the point of having an Xbox? You know, what I mean? because it's smart because. If you're doing a cross-platform, in a certain way, you can still make money off of that. In a way, depending on how many Xboxes you sell or how many PlayStations you sell. I well, no, no, no. Here's the thing, dude. Like Microsoft, like if they release a game that's multi-platform, you only make the money from the sales of that of that product itself. Like Xbox is not getting a cut of any of the PlayStations being sold. Bro, because that's so, owned by Sony. Okay, so who's who's the, okay? Okay, so let's work it out even even better for you. Uh-huh. Who's the Who's the main dude for Xbox? Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer. Well, for Xbox, yeah, and then obviously Bill Gates. But, but I about to say my boy Bill is up there, bro. Yeah, yeah. So Bill's not really involved with Xbox anymore, though. So th- why though? Because he knows. Well, I mean, it's it's his company. He just like doesn't really have an interest in it anymore. So does that not make you? Maybe red flag a little bit. No, that I that don't think the, so. the, the the hold on. I think Bill's so, got enough going on, man. The whole person that started this motherfucker, it's at a point getting to the point where he don't want to do it no more. Well, Bro, I think that is a red flag for sure. Maybe I don't know. I mean, so okay, think about it, bro. Look, look. I mean, I'm a really big fan of putting my work in somebody else's right. hands. <laughs> well, what, not this, so, not not the things I care about. <laughs> I guess maybe that's the argument, right? Like, if right. you care about it, you'll do it yourself. So, what do you like the most? Like if if right now if I, I said what do you like the most women no. <laughs> women right okay 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 let's say you make a business for women this doesn't I don't like where this is going no it's it's about to go into exactly a business for Bro. women or you said you like women right using women <laughs> well I mean either way okay. that you would like to interpret it okay. you're an interpret owner it. okay right uh-huh. so typically owners. They use people owners, okay, of all the time. Right, like that's just what it is. Oh, uh, the easiest way for me to comprehend it is like football. You know, you got your owners, your GM, you got your coach. Exactly. Yeah. So think about it that way. Mm-hmm. You're the owner, right, of a fucking franchise of a, of a women's football team. Right, right. <laughs> there you since go. We, <laughs> the since we went all the way that <laughs> yeah, way, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Right. The laundry now, league. You said a women's football team, right? There you go. Um, there are women that play football, and yeah, a lot of people don't that. know. Yeah, the lingerie league. It's and they, league. yeah, and Dude, it's those fucking are fire. hard, bro. Uh, they and they're fuck hard. Each other up. But outside of hard, <laughs> they almost all look good. I like mean, it's, it's the lingerie <laughs> league. <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> fuck this football <laughs> game. Look, <laughs> make that the XFL. Uh, look, man. <laughs> <laughs> look, bro. Where's the rock? Look, don't get me started. Look. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we don't want him around at all. Oh, all yeah. Right, you stay yeah, where yeah, the no, fuck no, you're yeah, at, yeah. bro. Do not you pull stay up. up in the booth. Bro. We don't need you down here. <laughs> I feel like I don't know, bro. It's 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 more of a smart tactic, bro. It's it's super smart to me because I feel about? like Xbox at some point in time won't be shit, like you just said. Yeah. Yeah, but sure. any so this is the thing. Uh-huh. Anybody who's played PlayStation and have lived by PlayStation codes, uh-huh. right? Because uh-huh. you get to coding with everything, right? Just like if me and you are brothers, 
I'm you don't good. you don't fuck one of my exes. Like stop. You know what uh, I'm saying? Well, so, that's why I think like the elimination of the Xbox like entirely would make it easier because like they'll bro, just make their shit and just be like, hey, like whoever wants all they to have to do take it. is just shit. keep. They make better games. I'll be honest. I'm a P. I'm a PlayStation. I'm a PS. Three, four, five. It depends on what Xbox. You're looking for. It does depend. Yeah, it depends on what you're looking it for. It does depend. Yeah. But let's be honest. In all of the categories, I think Sony makes better games. I exactly because you're basing off of the kind of games you like to play. Well, that's my point. Yeah, but so this is my point. Yeah, it's preference. This is my point. Mm-hmm. You have a, a Xbox what? One. Right. Yeah. You have a PS what? Four. What do you play most? I play my Xbox. Exactly. Well, so I, I mean, I only play Rocket so, League though, and that's just because of the controller. Even like, my then, bro, on the Xbox. Even so. then, right? Think about that, right? Uh-huh. That statement. If PS4 to you, you just said was better. Why would you be on a on a on an Xbox? Well, I've always been on Xbox. Well, so uh, so is that the excuse or the reason to why you don't play the PS4? Yeah, kind of. Or, well, so this is what it is. Because they I just play, make better games, well, cause, cause, bro. They well, have. Here's the thing: I play the game, like bro. the exclusive games they have on the PlayStation. Like I play them when, like, like if a game comes out, like like Spider Man or like God of War or any of that, like I'll play that shit. I'm not on the, on fan, the PlayStation. So. Yeah, well, obviously. For how long? I mean, until I'm done with it, and then that's it. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Really? Yeah, I would. I would feel like I mean, you I, would... just, I, I beat the game. So and then and then I'm done with it. Games like that. You can't play it on Xbox. No. So exactly right. Yeah. But so X Xbox Xbox drops more games than anybody ever drops. I mean, I objectively disagree. I think they all like launch the same shit. Especially if you're talking about like meaningful exclusives right now, Sony definitely drops more. Like with Horizon and like God of War and Spider Man and Miles Morales and like they, they you know Last of Us and like they they got bangers bro like they got they got some heaters man but anyways um, Xbox after making that like really whack ass reveal for Halo went ahead and postponed it to twenty twenty one so that they can like touch up on it. Which is great that they're listening to the audience and they're touching up on it, but I'm salty as fuck because we've been waiting for like five and a half years to finally get a real reveal, and this is how it goes. It's pretty nutty, bro. Like, what the it's, fuck it's, is that? It's you know what I mean? It's pretty nutty, bro. To me, it's pretty nutty. Hell yeah. Okay, last on my list. It's like a two in one. They're two yeah. separate people, but fuck both of them. Numero uno. Giannis. Giannis Antetokounmpo. What about him? This motherfucker. What about him? Because just had to headbutt somebody. You just said he was that fucking son of a you bitch. You just said he was fucking fire, bro. That son of a bitch had to fucking headbutt somebody in the second to last game of the goddamn bubble. And you want to know what that led to? A single game suspension. You want to know what happened because of that one game suspension? They lost to the fucking Memphis Grizzlies. The team who had only won one other game the entire bubble and blew all their chances to come back. Therefore, allowing a team that everyone else actually gave a shit about, aka for us, the Spurs, for me, the Spurs, and the undefeated 8 and 0 Phoenix Suns to make like the most improbable bro. run ever. <sighs> so we we let's talk Son about Phoenix later, bro. Bitch. Let's talk about Phoenix later. Oh no, we'll, later. we'll talk about it on the sports show. This is just my shit. Uh, yeah. Oh my so, god. Like, he just had to hit he had to headbutt somebody because I don't fucking know why and that caused the Memphis Grizzlies to win and then on top of that, the Nets could have won their game against Portland, but no. Lavert had to come out try Just to take that you, game-winning shot, and <laughs> the boy fucking missed it. And it happens, bro. Fucking do it happens. It came. The play-in came down to the Memphis Grizzlies it and the goddamn Trailblazers. The one matchup nobody wanted. This nobody gives a shit about that. So I'm pissed. I'm and pissed as fuck. We're gonna talk about this shit. Doing yeah, the we will. We'll shit. go into it on the sports show. So I'm gonna like, try not to my, It's just my shit list. Goddamn it. That's bullshit. Yes. Like Memphis is there. One game and that's it. That's fucking bullshit, bro. <laughs> one game. One game is all yeah. it took. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is going on? I'm mad as fuck. Oh my gosh, I'm so pissed right I'm now. I'm mad as fuck. Now, We're going to go know, in on it on the sports show. Oh my gosh, show, bro. You know. Yeah. You already know. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the big boy shoutouts. 
Let's do it. I have a very good list this week. I'm actually, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with this list. I have no big boy shout outs this week, but no That's disrespect. Okay. But yeah, you run that, my G. Yeah. So I have George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, and Kenny Clark first. Um, uh, George Kittle and Travis Kelsey are arguably the two best tight ends in the NFL. Um, Kenny Clark is one of the best interior defensive linemen in the league. All three of them got P A I D fucking paid, my guy. George Kill George Kittle got a record setting deal for tight ends in the league, and then Travis Kelsey got a new deal like ten minutes after that, beating him out. So consider them both effectively the highest paid tight end in the NFL. Kenny Clark, he got the highest paying interior lineman contract in NFL history. So big boy shout outs to those guys. Fuck yeah. We are always hyped for anyone that gets paid around here. Like, that's what it's all about. Hell yeah. Um, Everson Griffin, big boy, uh, defensive lineman that used to play for the Minnesota Vikings, just got picked up by the Dallas Cowboys. Super stoked for them. They're going to have a fucking squad on defense. And during the uh, UFC 252 they yesterday, have a squad. there was a fire, uh, a fighter. His name is, his, 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 like, his fighting name is literally Biggie Boy. And he's just like this big fucking black dude that fights in the heavyweight division. And you can't have a big boy shout out and not have the big black biggie boy on there. Like, you can't. That's my guy. He was is, fucking is, awesome. Is it only because he's black or just because I'm gonna tell you why. he's wrecking shit? I'm going to tell you why. Right. Okay. So right. he started off 10-0, and 0, right, in his, in his UFC career. He was 10-0. and 0. And then he lost his first fight ever, the fight before this fight. So this was like his bounce back fight. Like... You don't oh, really yeah, know I what know, you're yeah. made of until yeah, yeah, yeah. like you experience adversity. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So this guy came through, and dude, he knocked the shit. He got like a hella TKO on this guy, bro. Like he just, he was patient. He was calculated. And What's then his just, name? Uh, he goes by Biggie Boy. I don't know his actual name. Um, because And here's the other part. Um, he's actually the first professional UFC fighter from his country ever in history. He's the very first one. So he's the very first guy from his country to ever be in the UFC. He went undefeated, and then after his very first loss, he came out and whooped some dude's ass. And he's just like this big. He's just this big black dude. He's awesome. So he was great. That's gnarly. Yeah, because it was he awesome. was he was on a stretch where he was killing people, and then he lost his last one, and everybody flipped out. Oh yep. well, yeah, everyone yeah. was like, yeah. you know, like what's gonna right. happen now? You know, he ain't doing shit. Yeah, and he came out. <laughs> and he just he, and he that came guy's out ass. and put in work and said, "No, Hell bitch, yeah. I'm that guy." Yeah, well, that's exactly what he said. He said like at the end of that fight. At the very moment the fight was over, he already wanted to be in his next fight. He's like, I need to move on. Like, let's let's get to work. And that's what he did, man. Yeah. So big shout I'm out to that. him. And oh, oh, and, and because he won that fight, he's like next in line for the next title opportunity against um Jocic. He should be. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like he not only <laughs> did he bounce back from his loss, beat this guy's ass, he's the first guy to ever become a UFC professional fighter from his home country. He's also next in line for a title fight. Cause your boy Daniel weak his ass. Shut up. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright, so next <clears throat> next on my big boy shout out. He's not an actual big boy, but this is one of the biggest boys in my in my heart. Um yeah, he's an electro artist named Madion. He's my favorite artist period he's great everything he makes is amazing and um he dropped a new album uh like sometime last year and he had a song that he thought wasn't good enough to release like he didn't think his fans would like it because it was like a little different than what he than the other stuff he's made um but he decided to just you know drop it and just see what happens and it's a fucking banger and he dropped it unannounced so like my favorite artist who i had to wait five years between albums for just dropped a banger of a sing of a single bro and this is a song that we almost didn't even get because like he didn't like it at first so like big shout out to him for like taking that risk and like trusting in himself to be able to drop that and that like his fans were gonna like it but that also made me think too think about all the music out there that's been made that like artists might have thought like wasn't good enough or like didn't fit like their image or something that we haven't gotten to hear yeah, but how many songs have been made where like people made them songs still knowing that they were fucking ass, and we're like maybe that's where it we comes love down. it though. Maybe that's where it comes down to talent, and we love it though. In my in my opinion, Madion is oh easily God. one of the most talented electro artists out there. Yeah. In my opinion, his music is amazing. It's just I feel like I don't know. It's hard to say nowadays. Just shit. 
the music, everything is just fucking weird to me, bro. I think you're listening to all the wrong shit. I mean, I could be. I mean, also, yeah. I also like classical music, though, and, I mean, and all cool. kind of other shit. But like, now, that shit's always fine. Yeah. It's the other outside shit out of that that always changes. I think most so. music, most mainstream music nowadays, nowadays sucks. I mean, bro, we can even be real. Like, even country music. Country music has is, changed. Uh, uh, country music objectively and, sucks. And has, like, a different tone to it now. People can say that it doesn't, but bullshit, okay? Because I stay down the street from Cowboys. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right, I've been there. I've two step with people. I don't really know how to two step, but I mean, if Cowboys you just tell me a, how to do it, a club I can here. do it. It's a it's a country dancing yeah. club. It's called Cowboys Dance Hall. It's cool as fuck. Yeah, and this is what happens: you go to Cowboys, and they'll play that, bro, for like the whole entire time. You're talking about new country, right? Yeah, so I haven't been there in a while, so I don't know if this is is different or sure. whatever. I doubt it. They're probably not open right now. At a point in time, <laughs> of the Rona. for like thirty minutes or forty five minutes, they would p- play. Other music, like other than right, sure, hip hop sure. and yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever, whatever we want to call it, right? Get, Black people music or get, whatever get. is your term for it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then whatever you hip young kids are listening, yeah. To. From there, it would go back to something intensely crazy. Where I don't know now. To me, I could dance to anything, bro. I don't, I don't really give a shit. I don't even fucking care, like. You know, it, it is what it is. So have a couple of sippies um, and just get loose. But <laughs> it just it, it it was what it was. Like sure. I could go desk to anything. I don't really give a shit. But they did, especially designate. live music. Like I don't fuck with right. country, but like if there's like live country music, yeah. I fuck with that. That's cool. They designated a point in time yeah. of that night. Like you go out to Cowboys, right? That night yeah. for like thirty minutes, forty five minutes, they're gonna play. Something different. Sure, sure. I mean, to me, I still went. Like, you know what my favorite is? Snow bunnies. <laughs> you know, like, it is what it is. Uh, that's, just, that's just my preference. Now, they just don't talk to me, though. So, can you imagine how hard it was for me going in that kind of a place? To yeah, that, you probably stuck out bro, pretty hard. Yeah. Bro. That, bro, wasn't nobody trying to dance with me, bro. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wasn't man. nobody. So You're funny. Um, I, To me, it, I, it's like a more of a, it, it's a depending factor sure. when it, when it kind of comes to that, so. Okay, I do have the very first female addition to the Big Boy shout out because okay. the Big Boy shout out oh, that's is gnarly. not sexist, man. That's gnarly, and the main reason why is because this chick has got bigger balls than anybody that's ever been on this list. You're not sexist. Her name is Christina Zinaldo. Uh, she's a scuba diver, and what she does is she puts on chainmail armor while she scuba dives, and she finds like schools of sharks. And removes hooks from their mouths to like stop them from hurting, like to help them. But she puts on the chain mail because she literally has to go like elbow deep in some of their mouths sometimes to help take these hooks out. And so that like if any of them just decide to come at her sideways and like fuck with her shit, she's got chain mail on so like it won't hurt her. And she's That's removed gnarly. she's removed over three hundred hooks since she started doing this. And from the a shark, person. No, from a shark. The sharks have hooks in them, like from people fishing. Yeah, fuck yeah. So she goes you. down in there and she just like she just gets in there, man, and she's just doing her shit. And this is just something that she's just passionate about. Like this is just what she does. Would you fucking do that? No, no, what? no. Fuck Bro, that. she better make. The, oh, well, like... I don't know. Maybe like with chain chainmail armor oh, on. Oh my maybe. gosh! But I wanted to ask you because I didn't think you would fuck with that at all. So. Oh, well, let, let me finish. Let me finish oh before we continue. God. Um, the cool thing is that whenever she removes these 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 hooks from these sharks, they remember her because, like, she helped them. So, like, next time, whenever she goes down there or after she's helped them, the sharks, like, get cool with her. It, and they let her, like, come and shit. Yeah, which is That's so cool. how it works. So, like, they that part, that. That part's super cool. But everything before that, fuck that, bro. Miss me with that, bro. So low. that's why she's on here, though. She's got bigger balls than me. That's for sure. Um, God damn. I go to the beach all the time. I go to about knee deep. That's knee fair. deep. That's fair. And you know me. I'm six five, so yeah. I'm a, I'm a pretty big dude. <laughs> so people are like their bellies. I'm only at my knee. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, sure. Yeah, you're out there. Um, when I drink more. I get a little bit more encouragement, so I go a further. Bit of liquid courage. Uh, but I, I will be completely honest. There's no way that I would go and unhook a shark's mouth at all in any situation. Like that shark is gonna have to have my mom in its mouth, <laughs> or bro, it, it's gonna have to be something intensely crazy. I feel that. 
Uh, I I will agree with your shout out for that because that shit is Hell fucking yeah. yeah. So shout out to uh, homegirl uh, Christina Zanaldo, man. She's yeah, she's that, a badass. That's Super crazy cool. Very shit. fitting. Very fitting for the shout out. I think. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Hell yeah. We're gonna finally talk about Last Chance You. Yeah. I doubt anyone has been waiting with abated breath, <laughs> but. <laughs> Again, if, if anyone hasn't seen the show yet, I cannot stress to you enough how much you need to watch it. A tiny little spoiler. This might be my least favorite season. I will say that. However, all the seasons before this are some of the greatest television I've ever watched in my life. So I would encourage our listeners to watch the other seasons by like crush that shit. You will love it. I promise. If you're a football fan. If you're not a football fan... I mean, it's still really interesting. Like, if you care about like documentaries and stuff like that, that's kind of up to you. But um, I fucking love this show. I was watching it uh, this time around. It was for uh, Laney College in Oakland, California, and it was just following this junior college team. You know, just going through their season and just seeing what happens. And the timeline with this show is from last football season. So like, it started before Corona, and the show ended after Corona started. So you you see a little bit of that of that transition a little bit like at the end of the show, so I thought that was kind of interesting, but um, that's pretty nutty. Yeah, how'd you feel about it? Did did you like it? Because this is your first season, so like it kind of sucks. Like it is my first season, but you also know that's why you're my boy. Mm-hmm. You're big football. I'm big basketball. Mm-hmm. That's why this shit is fire. So, um. It was all right to me. So to me, I want to warm up more on football. Because I, I like the Eagles, right? Yeah. So yeah. I can't, I, I can't like be an Eagles fan and not and then not football. <laughs> be fucking with football. Like that just doesn't make any sense. And the fans of <laughs> the fans of Eagles will probably hate me, but right. So I I, I gotta fuck with it. So um, what did you think? What was your impression? I think that I'm, I'm gonna jail more. When they do it from basketball perspective, right, which is maybe next season. So the, right. the, the, the all the seasons um, so far have been for football. Next year they're going to follow a junior college for a basketball program. Exactly. Which, like, I'm a little bummed out about because I'm a big football guy. But exactly, I really appreciate like the way the show runs. So I think being able to follow the storylines right. of the basketball players so and stuff, I, it will be cool. I don't want to say it messed up, but they do like sob stories. This season did to me. This season did to me. Right, but it's called Last Chance You for a reason. Like these exactly. guys, exactly. This is like your last artists. chance, bro. Yeah, that's it. So that's it. These are literally like sob stories. Like the yeah. last, the stakes, you know, are the chance opportunity. Like, yeah. Ah, um, I like it. I think this. I, season, I like it. What I've learned I from like watching it. this season opposed to other seasons is that the show will only go as far as the head coach does. The head coach is essentially the main character of the show. That's so hard, bro. Because so he runs hard. the whole team. Like, he is, he's the guy. Right, right, right. And no, don't get me wrong. Like, the players are a very big part of it, but and it follows the individual players' stories. But, like, if the coach is not entertaining, the show could suffer, which I think this season did. No, don't get me wrong. Coach Beam actually does get kind of a big shout out from me because of his no bullshit, like, his no bullshit attitude because a lot of his values i kind of see in myself just with like not accepting bullshit for an answer and not accepting mediocrity and he's been coaching football for 45 years so like they call him the godfather of football in oakland and right. he's been offered coaching positions for other colleges higher positions but like he said that he always wants to be somewhere where he's appreciated and like valued and somewhere where he can make an impact. Exactly. Because yeah, so, so he's this always is where it gets to weird, bro. So he does shit on the football side. But let's let's talk about his shit outside of football. You know what I mean? So that would be a whole different topic or discussion for another day. So to me, I like dudes that do certain shit, but if it's just for a sport, I want to know the real you. Like, what do you do every day? Well, How do you like, talk to people every day? Well, that's what I like, like about Last Chance U is, like, they follow these you know what I'm around, saying? like, off of the football field, which is, like, brings me to my next point. Some of my favorite scenes from the entire show, like, each episode would have, like, one or two scenes where they would meet up with all the position coaches at their local bar. All the coaches would meet up together and just, like, talk shit, like, about, like, 
you know, the offensive coordinator didn't score enough last week. Like, you're a piece of shit. Or, like, your linebackers are sucking. Like, you should get your shit together. Like, it was really funny getting that kind of, like, behind the curtain scene. You know what I mean? They're just, you know, the at the bar having it, a couple sippies. It is, a, it, and it just is talking hilarious. Shit. <laughs> yeah, oh I like those gosh. things a lot. I wish there was more of them, honestly. Like, the position coaches seemed like they had a lot more personality. Like, Coach Bean, like, I feel like he's just been coaching for so long that, like, he doesn't have, like, that high energy or anything. He's just like, you got to, like, kind of like a Greg Popovich. Like, he's got this, like, stoicism to him. You know what I mean? Like, I'm you know what my expectations bro. are, so meet them. You know what I mean? We live in San Antonio. I will be 100% real with you. I love Greg. I don't think anybody can match his level of intensity, bro. I just well, don't. But what I'm saying, though, is that, like, he doesn't have to get high energy is my point. Like, once he enters the room, he doesn't have to say anything to you. You already have, like, a level of respect for him. Is what I'm saying. Right. Like he but I also think that it's different for him because he's had teams that did disrespect his level of Authority. competence. Right. Yeah. You feel me? Sure. And he still said, like, look, this is how we're going to do it. We'll run it this way. And he, pff, 22 years, bro? Well, like I said, Coach Beam's been coaching for 45. So I think, like, they, they, pro- they have very similar personalities. They should be similar. I just don't think it's good for television. I, I, no, I mean, keep it real depending. With you. I, think, I think Pop would be great for That's television. what I'm saying, right? It depends. Would be amazing. That's but a like, sport you to can sport. Kind of see, you can kind of see what I'm saying, though. I like, do. Yeah. I think it's sport to sport. Well, here's the thing, too. Coach Beam, he's seen as a godfather of football, but he's not legendary. He's not like Pop. Pop right. is like... Pop, bro. He he is one of the best he, coaches He could probably time. go down as in, the best coach ever. In any in sport. It, exactly. Yeah. Him and Belichick. Like, exactly. Um, but so the only close. reason with Belichick, it's it's less. In a way, they both well, Belichick's got more championships. He does, but at the same time, Greg did his shit with how he wanted to do. It's it. true that well, I mean, you could definitely say the same for Belichick though. In he, a way, he, he doesn't give a so, fuck bro, who you are, bro. Hey, so let, let's be real. I don't think Belichick wanted to take Tom as late as he took him. He did. That well, that, he that wanted, was literally. He wanted. We're just gonna take like some forever, random yeah. ass scrub ass dude that yeah. ain't gonna do shit. We got our fucking shit set already. Yeah. Well, he wanted. And Tom just popped off, ago. bro. Yeah. And then Belichick the to me, him. I'm gonna be real. He got fucking lucky. He got fucking lucky. He might have. And I only say that he because if know. Tom was as good as he's been, why did he get drafted earlier than what? One ninety nine. Bro, in what round? Six. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you see what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. that is tremendously crazy. That is true. There's no way you know. Well, it's it's like the pop off of Antonio Brown. Like he was also drafted in the sixth round and ended up being like the best wide receiver in the NFL. Stupid. Like that doesn't happen. Stupid. Yeah. It's just rare occasion. I feel that. So Bill looks good, but I also think it's on the back of Tom Brady. But I also think Tom looks good. It's the same on the ba- they're together. Right. So you, it's hard. A lot of people it's would hard. argue. A lot of people <laughs> argue that about Pop and, and Tim Duncan too, though. A lot of people do argue that. So the only thing that's silly about that is if anybody, because you know I'm a basketball dude, bro. If anybody goes back and looks at Wake Forest when they had Tim Duncan, he was fucking sick. So if the yeah, Spurs, he was like amazing, right? If the Spurs wouldn't have got him, bro, he would have just went somewhere else and popped off. Stupid. Well, so no, I, no. So here's the thing. I think no. Oh I think Tim Duncan would have been great regardless. What I'm saying is about Pop, though. Like some people would argue that Pop may not be that good of a coach, but he was carried by Duncan. So this is the difference with Pop. He knows how to take. I kind of disagree. I a, think he knows how to get the best out of people. This is what I feel like. Pop doesn't like the flashy yeah. stars and the. He will take the overseas motherfucker that nobody looking at. Yeah. And or the, you know, those type of players, and they just let him come over here and wreck. That's what he's done. So he looks smart as a coach. But if we want to be serious, I feel like if Greg would have took more chances, the Spurs may have more championships. That's just my personal I agree. fucking opinion. Bro. I think you're right. He's Even so good as a coach. Five. He's took teams that shouldn't have fucking won at all. And they win, bro. But it's because he has the right players with the right mix. Bro. Sure. It's chemistry. Like I said, bro, Tim Duncan at Wake Forest, 
was fucking cold. Cold. Spurs already had David Robinson. They did not really need Tim Duncan at all. No. At all, bro. Yeah. That was they, the year he got hurt, right? And bro. Then, yeah, they just lost. Yeah. Bro, and then they lost that whole year and they were ass. <laughs> it was the only which year. technically they already had a squad, so they were supposed to be good. Well, that's like that hey, Golden that's, State. Yeah, I was bro. about to say that. Golden, it's like Golden fucking State. State. Yeah. Golden State's already good as fuck. They're gonna pop Their off. Their players are just hurt. It's gonna be So it's now be you bonkers. give them all these people and they get like a, a early draft pick. Yeah. Oh my god. It's gonna bro. suck. They're I'm like, not, not nobody's ready. saying shit about this, bro. No, they're just they're Next just, year. They're just rubbing their hands. They're going to pop. They're just ready, bro. Hard as fuck. Yeah. Hard as fuck, I bro. Agree. It's going to be fucking crazy. So I feel like Greg has put himself in situations where he drafts overseas people. But I, I like that. I think it's cool. They're they don't get good, like dude. Yeah, Tony like, Parker was fucking good. Mono Ginobili was fucking good. Marco Bellinelli. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, they're all pretty good. His whole list is fire. The thing is, he he doesn't get the excitement. He gets the outside shit and works with that. Yeah. At some point in time, I feel like he's gonna shoot himself in the foot, and he's gonna he's gonna just want to chill out, and he needs to retire. Let maybe Becky take it. I do feel like he should come back next year, because the Spurs were oh really I, fucking close. Popovich already said he's coming back. He has to. He's coming back. He has to. I'm so excited. He has I'm to. I'm so happy. Bro, think about <laughs> He's it. He's coming back, dude. The I'm way so the Spurs hyped. play without Aldridge. Mm-hmm. I, it, so, okay, I don't want this to turn into the sports show. So, like, uh, I will save it. We'll save it. We'll talk about it more in Make sure you bring show. it up oh, on, okay. our next, I on, on the next. On, uh, I 100%. 100%. Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, let, sure. let's move on. Um, dude, I totally blanked out on bringing this up last week, bro. Oh, my God. I have, Okay. First thing. Yeah. Did you say the Beirut blast? The explosion? Yeah. In in Beirut? Yeah. Holy shit. That was insane. It's the largest explosive cause like 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 um like it's the largest explosion ever recorded in history that wasn't nuclear. And it it was clocked in at 1.5 kilotons of TNT. When that shit dropped, like the live footage of it, bro. like on on Reddit, bro, dude, bro. I thought it was fake at first. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" You can literally see the cloud, bro, and the shock wave like travel and just like fucking wreck everything. That shit was insane. Bro. I'm telling you right now. Holy shit, bro! All we need to hope for is that that kind of a blast. Doesn't happen to us as a human population. It Because at some point in time. Not here. Well, I don't know. Maybe no, bro. It will happen here. Well, do you know why? You know? Do you know how it happened there? They had they had a warehouse full of like like leftover explosives so, from like past battles and wars and stuff. Right. And something just caught fire in there. So like literally an entire warehouse is full of explosives all went off at once. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to give you a different perspective. Oh, do you think it's bullshit? Absolutely. Elaborate. Um, so look, man. They've been Tell trying me, to control man. us for years. Who? They. I'm going to say they. They, them. You know how people say that they, them? <laughs> I'm going to just say they, right? Okay. Look, <laughs> however people want to distinguish they, I'm going to let them do that. I'm not going to say this. is this. Okay. They mm-hmm. have been trying to control us, bro. It's, it's been supposed to be a one-way everything. But this happened overseas, though. So are you saying like it how it matter. could happen here? Bro, is that what you're saying? One way, everything. One way, everything. Okay. I don't care if you're overseas. I don't give a fuck if you're in Canada. I don't give a fuck if you're in Hawaii. <laughs> everything. Bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's, it's So these little, 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 little nukes and all this shit that they test, mm-hmm. they've been testing these shits for years. Oh, sure, yeah. We're just lucky enough to not been involved in one. Godzilla, bro. That's it. Yeah, man. Bro, look. <laughs> fuck him, though. King Kong Godzilla, all day. Bro. You already know what's up. Yeah, man. Now, of course, Godzilla was made from that, and that's why he's powerful. Yeah, but man. King Kong will beat his ass. And I'm, I'm going to keep saying this I'm until excited. King Kong versus Godzilla comes out. He's Hopefully, I've been telling you, bro. I've been waiting for this shit. <laughs> yeah. You know this. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it comes out next fucking year, and then they finally make the fucking movie. Have they dropped the trailer yet? Corona I know you've been waiting now, to watch it no, for they like so long now. They, now, they, they keep dropping details about the movie, though. Yeah. So, Damien, if you go look it up Damien right now, might be you'll the see some shit. Godzilla fan I've look, ever met in my life. I'm going to be real, dude. 
Be real. King Kong can't fucking beat the fuck out of Godzilla, bro. I'm I'm just being completely honest. <laughs> okay. I'm just being honest. Are you being honest? This is the problem. What's the problem? Godzilla, they make this motherfucker look immortal, bro. Like untouched. I mean, he kind of he kind of is, right? King he, Kong he died in the last bro, movie. King Kong is also untouched. If we trail back into the comics that were made a long time ago, uh-huh. bro, he had like a, a an electricity power. That made him fuck shit off. Like Shazam. We've never seen that. Oh no, like Gadra? Exact it in a way. Okay. Like a door. Like it's All right, yeah, whatever. Right. Whatever. Yeah, it's, whatever. It's yeah. bro. Sh- literally, bro, it's just like a door, bro. Okay. That sounds awesome. It does sound awesome, yeah. but the thing is, nobody's ever said that. So then guess what? If you go watch a movie with King Kong and Godzilla, and yeah. then King Kong just mysteriously pulls out this fucking like electricity power. That, How would you feel? I'm gonna admit that'd be dumb as exactly. Fuck. Like, <laughs> but the yeah. thing is, if you followed, uh, however, if I oh, if I were, gosh, to, I would bro. initially think it's dumb as fuck. But if I were to find out that's from the comics, I'd be like, oh, okay, like that's cool. I'm telling you right now, yeah. it's from the comics. That's he, cool. He was able to. So you think that's what's gonna happen? Possess like a King different Kong's electricity show up power. And, like, Kamehameha, that shit, like I got Zilla and just like make him eat his dick. I'll Side, let's let's be real, dude. Uh, okay. These are fucking kaiju's, right? Yeah. I, I, I like the word kaiju's. Kaiju's are cool. I like kaiju's. Yeah, kaiju's. That's cool. my word that I use. I, I feel like Godzilla fits in that. Yeah. King Kong. They're all. Kaiju. They're all kaiju's, yeah, bro. It, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Like if we want to call them some extra, that's no, fine. That. Dude, the way that they based Kong's movies and Godzilla's movies, it really looks like Kong can shit on. Oh, it looks like Godzilla can shit on Kong. I still haven't seen Skull Island yet. But I need he to watch can't. it. If you watch, bro, I told you to watch that I'm shit. I'm gonna see it. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I they have like a barrier on the outside of the island, right? Uh huh. It's like a fucking tropical storm. Oh, that sounds awesome. Right. So the only, the only way to get to it is if you get lucky and you just survive. Sure. The storm. It's pretty much what it is. Because if okay. you come in on boat, you're fucked. You're going to get drowned. Right. If you come in on plane, you're still fucked. You have to do. Right. Yeah. So if you but make it through, part, yeah. cool. So on King Kong Skull Island, they made it where the motherfuckers made it through. Then they start just fucking dropping mines, bro, just everywhere. Boom, blowing up shit. King Kong steps up and said, bro, you got me fucked up. <laughs> like all the way. Yeah. The thing is, in the movie, right? Bro, he's like 10 years old, bro. He's like a baby. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking huge. I've seen, yeah, I've now, seen how big he is. The only thing that sucks, right? They've made Godzilla so huge over the years. Godzilla's like 400, 500 fucking like feet in the, in the fucking <laughs> well, air. Well, I, I think it's a good excuse, though. Like, he is only a baby in that movie. Kong, so, bro, they could he just was like size 100, up. 150, 120, 125 in the, the movie where he was supposed to be a baby. Yeah, yeah. So, supposedly, when they drop Godzilla versus Kong, he's supposed to be like a full adult. And he's supposed to be like... I'm pretty excited. You know what I'm... Yeah, it's going to be To sick. me, bro, I just don't think it is fucking fair. Like, get the fuck out of here. I, I get it, Godzilla can do his shit. But, bro, he can, his ass can get beat the fuck down. And to me, I feel like King Kong can smash the fuck out of him, bro. Like, I do. I do. I get the brass breathing and I get all that. That's cool. But this dude is like an ape. He's almost like a human being. His feet and hands, yeah, he I've moves seen, like a I've human. I've seen like, just like you know? tiny bits and pieces. Bro, Godzilla's yeah. like a, just a big-ass lizard. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on, bro. Like, no human shit at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bro, if, it, if it's... If we really think about this, King Kong can't contend with Godzilla. But a lot of people is like, bro, there's no question Godzilla will just smash the fuck out of him. No, bro, I'm telling you right now. King Kong will beat the... I think he's going to fucking win. I hope... T- I hope... When, okay, that, so like by when do you think he's gonna like fucking merc Godzilla, or do you think it's gonna be one of those like oh, they're gonna like make he's, it? He's still alive. They're gonna make it how it was before. Into the ocean. They're gonna make it how it was before. So if we really watch this battle, uh-huh. King Kong technically already defeated Godzilla. Like Godzilla was doing his thing, King Kong beat his ass and threw him in the water. I'm not aware of this. Right. It's like a 1973, 74, 75. You're, you're within like those three years. Is it a movie? It's a movie. Okay. King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kong like was beating his ass, bro. That sounds good. Godzilla did some shit at first. Were they in costumes? Bro, like oh, old, that sounds old great. school. Oh, that sounds old great. school Asian. Oh, like, man. Ad, bro. That sounds awesome. <laughs> but they were in like legit. Sure, yeah, yeah. So what happened was King Kong 
at some point in time, start fucking him up. Sure. Like, start beating his ass. Uh-huh. Like, Godzilla was running some shit. Sure, yeah. But King Kong start fucking running it back. Like, nah, okay. bitch, you got me fucked up. Uh-huh. King Kong beats him up, throws him in the water. <clears throat> Godzilla never Came comes back, back from that. Mm. So, the theory is, right, Godzilla just didn't want to deal with them, and he just swam off sure. to somewhere else. And yeah. The thing is, though, in that battle, King Kong was beating his ass, and he threw him in the fucking water. Godzilla never came back up, didn't come back to the fight. So to me, King Kong won, dude. What if Godzilla's been like in training camp? It doesn't matter. He's getting like jacked as fuck. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what makes it trippy. Uh When when King so Kong Skull Island takes place in the 1970s during the initial yeah uh huh. So if you think about it, we're in 2020. If that movie was made in 1970s. In, and Kong was as big as in, he was, Island, but he was like a child or teen, sure, sure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He's a fucking adult now. Yeah. So when this movie drops, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be fucking nuts, bro. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm he excited. has to be older. We should go. See, to, we should see it together, bro. I keep telling we you, bro. We should go together. We should I, see you, it. you know I've been on your shit about yeah, Kong man. for a while, bro. We should go That's see it together. Nigga, bro. I think that would be fun, oh, bro. That'd be nutty, bro. <laughs> I feel like he can beat Godzilla. Now I do think Godzilla's almost. The most untouchable fucking thing that we know of. Based on his videos, his sure. movies, all this shit. Yeah, yeah. But, bro, King Kong can fuck him up, bro. I, I personally... Because he... Bro. How would you feel if King Kong, like, snapped his jaw open the same way he did, like, those dinosaurs? That's what I'm like, saying, like, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, cool. I would fucking probably come myself, bro, in <laughs> like, the theater. Like, Godzilla like, was, like, trying to, like, shoot his laser at him. Like, I, will, his I will die. Just fucking... Just- <laughs> Like, bro, oh, I would, yeah. He got that, he got that, that, that slap So this job, is the bro. thing. I don't think that, I think they're going to make it like a, a back and forth. What, oh, oh, for sure. What they said they gotta is. they make it a movie, you know. This is what they said. Somebody will. They're going to make the ending ambiguous too. They like, said somebody not, will. going to die. They said that you'll know who the winner is from it. Well, I was trying to tell and you that's before, my problem that, like, with I, it. I'm worried they're going to try to cheese it. Like it is going to be gonna cheesed, bro. And then a new bad guy is going to show exactly. up. Exactly. They both got to fight him, and then blah, and it's going to be blah, stupid. Blah, and, then, and, then, and then we're going to look at each other after we beat yeah, him up and like, decide like, like this is fucking we're the stupid. same. There's yeah, no point in like, us fighting. Like, we beat him I up. I respect like, you. You respect right. me. Like, no, 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 that's what I hate because I feel like I want them to fight, and I want them to beat the shit out of each other. Like, like let's make this fucking DC versus Miyochi. I want to. Let's see go. some fucked up fucking fighting in the shit. Mm-hmm. Like fucked up shit. I agree. Like I I I do like the last shit Godzilla made, King of the Monsters. I it was okay, bro. I the first I liked one was way it. better. First he, one was way he, better. Like Godzilla was moving around the shit. Everything else was frozen or in place. And yeah. then all the shit started popping off from not him. And I'm like, that's bullshit because if Godzilla is the dude that we say he is he controls all that. So why would y'all make a movie pretty much showing that he doesn't control shit and Ghidorah's running all this extra shit on the side? Yeah, it was kind of weird. So it's because it's Godzilla really that dude? Well, yeah, and like I said, he you, did you die know? too. Yeah, so like he got his ass beat. I don't know. I, I feel like King, bro, Kong will beat that nigga ass, bro. Okay. He he he'll grab a whole fucking tree stump branch and just. Swing it across his fucking face, uh, bro, out the middle of nowhere. I hope that. The happens. only thing guys is gonna do is what? Breathe some fucking fire. It's either gonna be blue or it's gonna be red. Like, and then you gotta piss him <laughs> off for him to get super mad. Yeah. King Kong gonna be coming with nigga a building, like, why nice fuck, tree, yeah. why like, <laughs> bro, he, you know, like yeah, it's yeah. not even a competition, bro. Kong should it. dust his ass. Okay. In a fight for sure. Speaking of that, did you did you see? Uh, do you know what Gundam is? Yeah, bro, yeah, I, I thought everybody you might. knows fucking no, Gundams, bro. A lot of bro. people don't know Gundams. Not, a, but not you now. You definitely know Gundams. Oh for my sure. gosh, I know fucking did Gundam. You, did you see that the Gundam factory made a sixty foot tall Gundam? I, bro, and it like it's like functional. It's gonna walk around like a robot. Heston, don't play with me right now, bro. You know I fucking saw that. <laughs> shit. Yeah, dude. That and shit literally, was sick. they had that shit right by the ocean side. Yeah. And if you've ever watched Pacific fucking Rim, yep, they're getting ready. They dude. tell us uh, yep. that these motherfuckers come from deep down up underground, and they come. They and have wanna, that and, shit sitting yeah, right by the ocean. And you want to know bro. what's fucked? Oh my god. Pacific Rim one took place in 2020. Look, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking. And now they're building giant bro. robots, man. Some fucking Gundams, dude. 2020's so, been a bitch. I think it's gonna get bro. any better, man. So let me ask you this question. We got them kaiju's right? are coming for us. Let me ask you this assholes, question, bro. Do you fucking think they built that big ass robot 
just for show. Just for show. Just for show, bro. Yeah, just cause, yeah. You think? You, do you think that they built that just for show? Sure. What? <laughs> what? Why? Like why? why? Not? You know why they built that shit? <laughs> Tell me why they built that shit. Cause some shit about to start coming up through these all these fucking bullshit, bro. Oh, you think so? And literally, I feel like the Earth is about to get so fucking exposed, bro. It's about to be fucking like so the intense. Like aliens living under the earth and Bro, fucking kaiju's Everybody literally, oh, shit. I, this is what I personally feel. Okay. It's going to get so intense, bro, that we'll have a huge level of suicide. And I feel like they're doing certain shit in a certain way for that to happen because they want to narrow it down. You know my conspiracies, bro, what it is. I know. They're, they're going to narrow it down, bro, uh-huh. to where there's only certain people living, uh-huh. certain people that abide by their rules. Okay. Nobody that protests. Nobody that talks shit or they, they just like it. Bro, they're about to fuck us off, bro. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that some shit might come up under the ground, bro. What I'm saying is keep in mind they built a fucking tall-ass fucking, like, robot. Yeah, it looks that awesome. is fully functional. Yeah, it's great. It's a Gundam. Anyone who doesn't know what Gundam is, they're oh they're kind of like gosh, bro. Gundam. It, it's like it's oh, like an eighties anime, right? Is what it started off as, and it's just like about like these giant robots and like people who like pilot them. They're they're kind of like Jaegers from from Pacific Rim, essentially. They're just giant robots that people control, and you know, there's fights and stuff. It's like a cooler version of Transformers. In my opinion, it's like Japanese. That's literally what it is. Yeah. So why would we make it? And they made like a sixty foot one, which is what bananas. Why though? King why? Kong bananas. Why? Why would we make it? Because why not? Why would we make it though? Because why not? But see what I'm saying? I, I really, like, I really enjoy your theory though. Like, bro, I want that to well, I don't know. I don't know if I want that to be. You, you, you do but, enjoy it because yeah, I give cool. you the flip side of it, bro. They would not make no shit like that unless it's needed. Like, okay. you, you don't make shit if uh-huh. you don't think that, like, like if you're in a different level of state, right? The state. You don't like make mental, certain shit. Mental state? Yes. Okay. Or if, even physically. Uh-huh. There's also, okay, you your physical life, right? Uh-huh. There's only certain shit that you do based on your experiences and the shit that you know. Oh, well, sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. So you, you, so you would. life so is what you mean. You would get with a girl, right? And she looks fucking amazing. But then when you chill with her. She ain't for like shit. a week or two, <laughs> she's not fucking shit, right? And then it looks like you wasted so much fucking time for some bullshit. Oh, 100%. Yeah. They would not make a fucking robot, bro. Like, okay, so, this so shit, you can tell, purpose. is government. That shit ain't like me or you just going on and building a fuck. Bro, this shit is like higher people building this. Okay. Why would they build it? Just for a show so people could take some pictures, bro, for yeah, a couple man. months? Uh-huh. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's just it for when shit starts to pop off. They have, they're letting whoever want to pop off on us. Uh-huh. They're letting them know, like we, we're we're doing some shit, bro. That's we're not just shit. that idiotic. Uh-huh. We can do some shit, okay. and I. That's what I like. Us as Americans, or whatever we want to call ourselves, right? We're smart enough to do some shit, uh-huh. but we're still dumb enough because we don't think. Oh well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That shit coming out, I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Yeah. We will see that shit used in like ten years. I'm excited. Or for something. I really, no, you're not excited, bro. <laughs> bro, how scary would that fucking be That'd if be they have terrifying. to use that shit, bro, to try to fucking kill something? Right! <laughs> bro, that's <laughs> fucking nuts. Yeah, dude. you can miss me with that. That's okay. Oh my gosh, that's insane. I did see it though. It it looked really good. It looks cool. Um it does look badass. Yeah, but awesome. do you want to see it used? No. Or you just wanted to just sit there. Yeah, like yeah, like, right, exactly. We got it. Why would they it. make it though? We got it. If we need it, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't need to use it. That's. Funny. Oh my gosh, you're. Hilarious. We have Gundam at home. We don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> <we're, we're, laughs> but they're gonna fucking use <laughs> that shit. To use and that we're gonna be shit. watching it on TV. Oh yeah. On the news. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, we're still gonna be making podcasts when all this shit happens. Yeah, man. So. Shit's gonna be nuts. We're <laughs> I'm never gonna run out of things to talk like, about. It's gonna be sense. awesome. <laughs> all right uh, do you have anything else you want to talk about i do want to bring up one more thing we have to talk about urban legends any in particular i have one okay and i, and I can leave it at that okay um i actually really i love it i love it when you bring up this stuff like like you're super into it like i'm, look, I'm like interested but you're like you're like bro, nuts deep in this shit and i bro, love it i, I love I, hearing I, you I'm talk like about so it. hardcore on urban legends dude i, I love talk it talk about 
We're gonna talk about some so other. Many. Like, we're, we're gonna be talking about urban so, legends and like all this shit like for forever, basically. But I will talk about a couple. Sure. Okay. That 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 I can mention because uh-huh. I want to bring this level of education to people. So Charlie No Face, you ever heard of him? No. <laughs> okay. I haven't so seen I, his I, face look, either, man. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this shit. The tale of Charlie No Face is so he died, right? Okay. In like a radioactive like fucking field. Like he fucking died. So again Like a nuclear wasteland? Yes. Kind of? Okay. Keep okay. in mind radioactive. Sure. Yeah. It's fucking nutty. Yeah, yeah. So again, the only reason I talk about this kind of shit is because there's a game that's called Charlie Charlie. I'm not familiar with that game either. You're not. Bro, you, you draw like a fucking like a plus sign on a paper a piece of paper. Uh-huh. Take two pencils. Oh, I've seen that the little, line little one up one way. Yeah, yeah. Line one up. Bro. I I'm not lying to you. I played it. It's fucking nuts. It's 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 insane. The shit moves. Uh-huh. Like when you say it though. So like, like they like that like so people try to say like it's electromagnetic. Eventually it's gonna move. Uh-huh. Okay, I get that. But why did it move when I said some shit? Sure. So how the fuck is that? That's okay. not... Yeah. No. <laughs> like, nigga, that's some shit really like... So I did Charlie Charlie. Of course, this would feed into like the Ouija board. And all that kind it's of similar. shit. similar. Yeah. Right? A you know, tool to communicate. Yeah. Charlie Charlie is fucking real, bro. I played it multiple times. I don't fuck um, with that shit. You said you don't fuck with that shit? But just try well, it, Well, I don't because I believe it. Just try and it. for me, I'm like, eh, I don't Just really try it, bro. I'm not trying to... Um, I'm telling you, to do that. it's fucking intense, mm-hmm. and I've done it more than once. Cause you, you know my stupid yeah, goofy yeah, yeah. ass. Uh-huh. I do fucking crazy shit, um, <laughs> bro. Every single time, it, okay. it did some shit. Uh, my other one is is Candyman. So Candyman is the you know only the reason, reason why I bring up movie? Candyman, right? So Candyman will will not really. It's not real. Bust through your window. We've already said it like four times. But <laughs> the myth of Candyman. Is a real thing. Well, yeah, like actually um, happened, right? Like, like what happened so, to him and all that shit. I mean, it's probably right. Like so Hollywood the way that, that it panned out or it worked is, you go into marriage, you say Candyman three times, right? Yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah, whatever. Like he shows up and he he took right. the ball. Right, that's in a movie. Uh-huh. Now in real life, what happened was the way that plumbers can access the cords or the cables or whatever needs to be fixed uh-huh. was through the window. So, like, when they opened it, it was, like, a fucking whole blank space. So, they can make sure, like, if you call a plumber out to get your toilet fixed, sure, yeah. they can fucking check it. I got you. Eventually, it started changing to where fucking people started burglarizing people through their fucking window. Uh-huh. So, then that's when Candyman came about. Now, I don't think Candyman is real, but I think a spirit of Candyman could be real. And... Spirits to me are are definitely fucking real. I agree. We're, I, um, I wanted to. We're gonna talk about this on another episode in the future. Right. Like I want to uh, like dive deep. Right. With, like, I'm, I'm not going too far, stuff. but what I'm yeah, saying is yeah. like these couple myths that I'm talking about. Uh-huh. I, I I feel like they're definitely for real, legit, 100. I'm not trying to freak people out, but people also need to know. Like I played with the Ouija board dozens of times. I've and I've but I've I've did it. Because you want to know, like you want to know, is this real? Is it? Shit. I um, stay away from it. I only did it. You're black too. You should probably stay away from I it. I was hyped, <laughs> bro. You know what's crazy? I've had some fucking crazy experiences with all that shit, but I mean, I I just know that it's real, and so for think, like, like it's, it's weird real. that people doubt it, and you know, or people be out here making up stories and saying this and. It's pretty really intense. Like, it's really intense shit. So, I feel. the only thing, the reason I brought up these two stories is because they've actually happened in person to people. Sure. So, like, I'm not just saying it. Like, it's it's like, it's, 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 it's legit. I feel that. It, it's fucked some people up. And some people have some bad stories with it. But, I mean, that's what happens when you start playing with spirits, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, you feel like it's fake. I feel like it was fake, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's the only reason I started fucking with it. I bro go to a Saint Asylums. I'm talking about like multiple floors and nothing's in there, bro. Graffiti. <laughs> They're still fucking like the beds. Uh-huh. There's just paperwork all over the floor. Uh-huh. I've done all that shit before. 
It is fucking scary, dog. It's fuck. I bet. And one thing happens, and that's it, bro. It's you're like, whole like, oh, fuck here. this. <laughs> so, yeah, I've seen a bunch of crazy shit. And, yeah, for sure, I, I have to talk about these. Now, there's way more that I could really talk about right we got now. A lot. Hey, we're going to be doing um, this for a long time. Yeah, so I'm going to yeah. save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of shit I'm talking about is real shit. So, y'all guys, check this shit out. If y'all really think I'm playing, y'all go do it. I've done it. Oh, yeah. I haven't died. As long as you have your own faith, personally, y'all go and do this shit, too. Play with the Ouija. Go and do some. <laughs> I'm not a demon person, but I'm telling y'all right now to do it. Heston, I'm going to make him do it off camera, and then I'm going to bring him back on camera. And so he's going to know. So at some point in time, I'll, I'll convince him to play with it right I now. Highly, I he highly won't do it, but. I don't do that shit. Dude. He says that he won't, but trust me, guys. I will make sure he's 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 going to do some shit, man. Okay. We're we going to get him good. We're going to get him good. I almost forgot. I got something that I wanted to talk about that was absolutely bananas, and I'm really excited to see how you feel about it. I got high for the first time this past week, and I know that this is something that you have been wanting me to do for a very long time. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how to feel about it right now. However, I- I'm going to have to see how you say you reacted. <laughs> That <laughs> shit it. fucking sucked, bro. Oh what? my god. It's the god. best thing ever. Let me elaborate. Yeah, please. Hi so, in what way? <laughs> uh, I took edibles. Uh, Those are the I, best. I took, okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And because like I have asthma too, so like I don't really fuck with like smoking. It's not right. really my thing. Right. Um I've taken edibles one other time before. Here's the thing. I've always been straight edge my whole life. Not because like it's like a thing or anything. I've just never really been attracted to it. I started drinking alcohol, like, as a senior in high school. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, I'm not really into it. Me but too. everyone I've I actually known, didn't drink alcohol or smoke until after I graduated high school. Deadass. Okay, cool. So you feel me. Yeah, fuck. so you feel me. So I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. So yeah, for me, it was for just sure. like, it's just not something I was interested in doing for a long time. And I literally took my first drink, like, on prom night, deadass. So... Oh, really, shit. What, what better now, did, you, did you get prom lucky though? No. Holy shit! So fuck that shot <laughs> hey, then. Man, oh my god, rough, man. It's hard out here. Fuck that shit then. <laughs> but <laughs> eighteen-year-old Heston wasn't wasn't killing oh it, man. That's all god. I got to say. Fuck um, that. Anyways, um, last time I took edibles, it was like some chocolate fudge, and I took about forty-five milligrams, and I didn't feel anything at all. Nothing like. Not even a hint. 45. Yeah, I took 45. So this and time, <laughs> so this time, um, a friend of mine, they got some some edibles, like real edibles from Oregon, like legalized. And that's kind of my big thing. I've always been worried about getting something that's like laced with or cut with bad shit or something. And I'm not trying to get retarded off of some bad shit. So I, I finally. I like you would have been fucking legitly fucking good. I think that you personally would have been good as shit. Me personally. <laughs> I bro, get high with me, please. Just well, one time. Well, let me elaborate. So this time around, I started with a hundred milligrams. I got two fifty milligram gummies, and last time, you know, I took forty five, and I do. I felt like when I say I felt nothing, I mean I felt nothing. Like it. It was as if I didn't even take anything. So I was like, let's just double down, dude. Let's just take two. My friend was like, I think you should take one and a half just to see how things go. And I was like, fuck that. So I just took two right off the bat. And uh, I was playing Rocket League. I was just vibing. And then I started to, I, I literally, like, while playing Rocket League, I felt myself getting high. Um, I could feel, like, literally feel my motor skills going away because Rocket League is extremely technical. So, like, my, my eyes... In my head were like well no it was like my eyes were already doing something and then my head was like catching up right and, and my hands were catching up so in, yeah. in, in like like in in my mind i was already doing something but like my physical body was like it, it had like latency it was just a tiny bit slow I feel like maybe you just need to do it more. And I, I well, yeah, this is my first time. <laughs> I, I feel I'm like you need to intolerant. warm up to so, that idea. So like, of it. it was weird. It, it, I can even like, I can even explain it. Like my eyes, like the way I was like moving, you know, I'd look somewhere, and then it was like my eyes moved, but then like my brain like followed by like half yeah. a second, and everything it's just felt like crazy, right? <laughs> like it was like boom, 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 you know, like weird. 
And it, I'll admit, dude, at first it was super cool. Like I was feeling myself. It was awesome. And it didn't stop. And like it just kept going. And it kept going. That's good. No, that's no, 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 that's no, no, what's no, supposed no, to happen. The, the intensity. Exactly. No. Yeah. No, it was bad. No. It was fun for like half an hour. And then like I need to go. I, I was starting to lose at Rocket League. So I was like, fuck this. Like I'm going to go to my room because I don't want my rank to go down. I was like, fuck that. So I went to bed. I was just chilling. And a lot of people say like, like you know, whenever you get high and stuff, it makes you tired. You want to just crash out. And I was like, I want to experience this. Like I wanted to stay up. Bruh. I got the spins so bad. Dude, it was like one of the worst like alcoholic trips I've ever had. Like I was spinning so hard. Dude, I don't even get motion sickness. I almost got sick, bro. Like that shit fucked me up bro. so hard. I almost threw up, dude. That's, and, like, so see, those are different feelings. So what it was you so were bad. was crossfaded. No, I didn't do anything else. You said you were drinking. No, no. I was saying I've only felt that before from oh, drinking. Oh, well then that yeah. was just some really good weed then. Yeah, well they were yeah. legal. They were legit. Right. So, so yeah, like, that, yeah, that, that just spinning. means you need to do a little bit I more. I was spinning and then I actually <laughs> felt the reason why they call it getting high. And that was because like I felt like I was floating. Fucking floating I, yeah, I in felt your like shit, I was right? floating. Yeah. <laughs> and then like and then like my body started I'm to so like dead. tingle. Like my whole body was like tingling. And it was like it was cool, but like, dude, the spins were not cool, dude, like at all. Like, I had to, I had to tell my roommate, like, dude, like, give me a, give me the fucking trash can, cause like I'm about to fucking like yak this shit up. And then, me like, personally, cause you know I smoke, so I feel like that is like the best that you could have gotten from that. Cause I talked to a lot of people, bro, and they're like, it didn't do shit. Like weed's fucking stupid. Like it was at least much. you know it was bananas. You can tell like it was intense as fuck. Weed I will definitely, say this definitively does some shit, man. I've been like legit blackout <laughs> drunk twice in my life. One of which I like actually I got alcohol poisoning once. Like I was so fucked up. That's the most fucked up I've ever been in my life. Easy, like unprecedented. I like I flew I flew up like I was I was out of here, bro. I was fucking gone. But, like, I was still here. It was weird. Like, I was, like, totally fucked. But if I started talking, it would, like, zero me back in. Exactly. That's it how it works, strange. bro. It was strange. It was so weird. You just got to do it more, bro. It's, and, not, it's not strange. You and, love it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that fucking... It was nuts. It got to the point to where, like... Oh, 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 and the coolest part. The, cool, the part that I actually kind of enjoyed. I, it got to the point where, like, the spins were too much. So I was like, I'm just going to close my eyes and just, like, try to get through this. And um, I started having like a series of dreams. That was the worst thing you could do, <laughs> being high, closing your eyes. And yeah, you're just gonna. Float well, it helped. Harder. It helped with the spins though. But then, like, I started to like really slightly doze off, and then I was like in that like realm, like between consciousness and like sleep. Like I was just like there, and then like I was like, I was like, it was like a collage. I was going through like different series of dreams that I was like extremely like coherent of but it wasn't like lucid dreaming like i didn't have control over it and it was weird too That's because insane. the dreams they felt really long they felt like really extensive and you just had to and then sit there. and then like it would just like <laughs> like into the next one and then like some other like crazy shit would happen and then like on to the next one and like it felt like it was taking a really long time and like i said i was like between so you like at one point like i did just like come back and just like open my eyes and then i realized it had only been like a few seconds you can control that shit, though. I I'm sure you, you can, one hundred percent. Yeah. So it was I, just like nuts. Like bro, I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" But I thought that was really interesting. I, I thought think it was really that cool. I told you, based on you, I think you should smoke. I've already told you this before, you right now. So I'm not saying nothing any mm -hmm. any different mm -hmm. than what I've always said. Mm -hmm. I think that you should smoke, man. I, I I don't. There's nothing wrong with it, bro. Like it's just it's not. Legal so look, here. this is the thing. If it were legal, I'd feel a lot better about it. But I also so have that's asthma, what I'm man. saying. Like, it's not going to do me any solids there, man. It it does you a lot of solids, bro. Because a lot of situations, bro, that you see yourself getting upset with or having an issue with, you wouldn't have them. Like I can't explain them mm -hmm. point on point case, but sure. what I can tell you yeah. is at some point in time, 
Texas will legalize weed. Oh, for sure. And we'll be like the last ones to do it, though, because we're probably, like probably. the big boys of fucking every state, apparently, no shot down here. Man. Like, <laughs> yeah. we do our own shit. Uh-huh. Like, we don't give a fuck what any other state thinks. But uh-huh. I'm telling you, bro, it, it, it will be beneficial. Um, I just want to be around when you do it because... When people get think, high, bro. I think doing it with you would make me feel better. That I'm telling you right now, bro. So. When when you get high with people, based on the situation of how you got high, I can can't get, fuck I, it up. I can't get that high again, though. It can fuck it up. I would need to take less. This is the thing. If you did it with me, you wouldn't feel like you're getting higher than that. It yeah. was just like it's like a situational thing. I can respect that. Like I was it, like by myself. Right. And, and you're like, what the weird. fuck? Like. Bro, yeah. like I, the only part I really didn't like, other than the spins, is like at one point I felt like an extreme like weight like in my chest. And <laughs> I felt yeah. like I had like really but, labored so, breathing. I didn't freak out though. Like I just it made me really funny. uncomfortable. I was like, I don't like this. So, like, bro, that was the only part. Like, it literally felt like somebody was like pressing yeah. down. Like, yeah, yeah, no, chest. I, 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 I like know it. what you mean, bro. Yeah. Trust me. So, depending on who you're with, what you're smoking, sure. you feel that. Like, I've had times, bro, where I, where I feel like I'm sitting in a chair, but my whole body's like the <laughs> chair, bro. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm bogged down. The chair, yeah. And then I felt times where, like, I smoked. Sure. And, bro, I'm floating out of the fucking chair. And I'm like, wait, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh huh. When you, I feel like when you get high, when you smoke and do that kind of shit, you have to be around certain people, bro. Good vibes. Or when you smoke, it's going to seem like smoking is fucked up but i also feel like everything is a directive in life Mm -hmm. so all the shit that they're telling us right now and all the shit they want us to do Mm -hmm. it's a directive they just want you to follow what they've already put in place for you to follow so smoking weed bro you tripping out and filling yourself it doesn't seem like you're filling yourself it seems like you're fucking like fucking tripping yeah only because they're programming your mind to think that shit if you feel that shit so that's where it all starts getting weird and shit. And I'm like, I need people when it comes out of this kind of shit. Bro, fuck with me. Fuck these motherfuckers out here. <laughs> fuck all this bullshit. <laughs> there are some dumb shit, bro. Okay. And all it is, bro, is even if you think you're doing something bad, mm-hmm. they've made it a way to where you'll do something bad, but they make you feel like you never want to fucking do it again because it ain't for you. Well, but, for me, it was, I, like, mean, I don't even judge anything based on that personally. Like, for me, it's just like, what are my experiences? You know what I mean? And, like, like how do I feel about it? So, for me, I'm interested in doing it again. But you already said how you felt about it. So, that's what well, makes it, it all rough. fucked up because it was rough. you didn't like it. So, it's like, yeah. well, wait. Who are you with? Who got you the yeah, shit? It was like, just a lot. You know, mo- like, there's so many questions yeah. that, like, come in mind to when that happened. So, it's just like, I know if you smoked with me, bro, look. I'll give you one fucking hit, bro. You only need one. Because when you chill with me, you're never going to be drinking. <laughs> All you need is, one, like, I. you can even do secondhand smoke with me, bro. Mm-hmm. But I would break it down in just a crazy-ass fucking level that I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, technically, I'm not going to do right now, sure, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know what the fuck I'm talking about, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's so much shit, bro. And this is where I be having issues with all this shit. After a while, right, for so many years or uh, so much time, if something presents itself to you that you feel like it's bad based on how people presented it to I you. I understand that. It's like you, predetermined you, conceptions. You're going to take it as fucked up yeah. and it's going to be the worst shit ever. Sure. If you have an open ear or an open mind and you well, know. That's okay. I have a very open mind. So, like, I felt like. That's it, what I'm saying. Yeah, I think I just took too much. I, I, is all I think it is. I don't feel like you took too much. I just feel like you are by yourself or you were like. Whatever you did, it just wasn't that time for you to do it. Or sure. I'm telling you right now, bro. If you mm-hmm. smoke with me, bro, I, I can guarantee you right now, bro, you, you'd be legit cool with it. Now, uh, for all our listeners, right, I'm not going to convince my boy Hessen to smoke with me, right? He's, been he's, trying to he's do a it non-smoker. Like two years now. Yeah. I've been trying to do this shit for years, right? He's not going to do it, but I do at least try to give uh, the better side of, like, the bullshit of. I respect that. It's just like, bro, after a while, if you hear like, so, bro, my, my, my prime example, when I was younger, girls had fucking cooties, bro. 
if you touched them. It's true, man. Talk to them. It's true. Anything like that, bro. They, like, still, got, they still got cooties. It don't matter, bro. So, bro, <laughs> you, I never you, did you it. I never did it. I never stank, talked bro. to them. <laughs> I never touched them. Oh, I never talked to be their friend. Nothing, uh-huh. bro. Yeah. When I got old enough, I was like, bitch. I could have had girls that were my friends. I could have like that good shit. Why, <laughs> nigga? They don't have cooties. They I, actually no, have no, the no, opposite no, of cooties. No, they got cooties. Bro. <laughs> I have cooties. cooties. They actually have the like the shit to cure it. Yeah, with the, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. bro? It's I feel like they've made it that extensive, bro. Where it literally seems like it's brainwashed. If you do it, exactly, it's brainwashed. It's fucking trips you out. And yeah. guess what's gonna happen? As soon as you do it, you're gonna fucking do what? You're gonna um, you're gonna trip out, oh, dude. You already associate those actions with negative with every single thing you've yeah. seen. Uh-huh. So the only way to break out of shit is if you've been around a person who's been through all that shit, or just be like, "Look, bro, it's not like I it's. feel." So I feel like if you smoke with me, it, I don't feel like you'd have the same feel. I feel like you'd fucking love it. I actually feel like, <laughs> yeah. Um, so. We have this conversation all the time. Mm-hmm. You think you're an asshole about a lot of shit. I love it, bro. I don't. I don't think I'm an asshole. I just think other people think I'm an asshole sometimes. But at the same time, I don't really give a shit because you you're think I'm real. an asshole. Like, you don't you're know real. about me. Yeah. You're real. So to me, if you're real, that does not make you an asshole. I'm just honest with people. That That's just I'm a person a, telling a, you. I'm not a dick, though. I like I'm this. I'm just honest with people. I don't like this. Yeah. I do this. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. But if we're going to be associated, then, we gotta, then you need we to fix vibe. that shit. Yeah, we got to vibe with each other. Period. Yeah, period. But bro, yeah. that's realness, though. That, yeah, yeah. that isn't... Yeah, and then, like, if you want to do some other shit, that's cool. But, like, don't, I'm, don't, I don't do it. I don't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. That, so that's yeah. where all this shit is starting to become like a... a, a, a like an intermingle, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's an intermingle with all this shit. And so, to me, <laughs> I sometimes fuck with people that... Don't have no business in my life right now yeah. because I know where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. Who I shouldn't fuck with. Sure, who yeah. I should fuck with. But guess what? 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 What do we do as humans? Still fuck with the person. I don't. <laughs> I don't do that. I feel like as a person, we ride it out. We ride it out just to kind of see if uh, will it do this, will it do that. But I the don't. overall perspective on a whole bunch of shit, bro, I think is different than how it's projected to a sure. lot of people, and so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm with you, bro. But I'm going to tell you right now. Mm-hmm. Get high with me, bro. I got okay. you. I got you. Maybe I'll take you up on that, and we can talk about <laughs> that, too. Oh, uh, bro. And we can get on after we do it. We'll see. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see, though. Bro, I'll tell Maybe. you. I got we'll you, bro. See. We'll see. I got you, bro. Okay. Okay, that's the show. Um, oh, last shit. week, I, I um, you know, kind of had a message about, you know, getting better and, you know, always each day trying to do better for yourself. So that message is going to remain the same here moving on forward every single day. You know, me and Damien, we're always trying to get better. Um, we've already taken our me- mental health time, you know, drinks and podcasts, some good times, man. And um, now we're going to go do better for ourselves. So I'm just hoping that y'all do the same. And, you know, we'll, we'll talk to you next week. Thank y'all for coming through and listening to the boys. Y'all be safe. Y'all have a good one again. We don't promote drinking, smoking, all that kind of stuff. We just want y'all to be yourselves when y'all listen to us. So. Yeah, yeah. And here's and, you the thing, know, too. That's, Anytime that's I ever say, is. like, you know, have a drink with us, it could be anything. Grab a water. Grab some I love water. Tea. Yeah, dude. I, I love lemonade. I drink a gallon a day. I love, bro. I yeah, love, dude. like, normal I'll, drinks with no I'll drinks. Fuck with so. it, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, we're just trying to create a community of people who just enjoy hanging out together. That's it. You know, and we just want to support all of us getting better. So I just hope that, you know, y'all enjoy the show. We can give y'all a bit of a mental break from all the bullshit that's going on. And then, you know, you can take that extra energy and put it into something productive for yourselves. Exactly. Y'all like, subscribe, all those good things, man. Look. Oh, yeah. So yeah. We're, we're just Insta, starting we're on off. Twitter and we're on YouTube and um, Spotify, too. So, yeah, my, my boy really hooked it up for us. I, I, I'm not going to lie. So I, I have an extra job outside of this, but my boy been putting in all the work for us. So. Y'all for sure, man. Subscribe, like the channel, give it to other people, be man. Friend, y'all y'all put us out there, man. Yeah, like be a friend, for real, for real. Like anyone that you think might enjoy our show, either of our shows. We got our sports show and we got this show. So you, you know, we're we're just this is me and Damien's opportunity to be able to just hang out and just talk, and we just want to be able to share that with other like minded people. Yeah, so let y'all chime if, in. You know, exactly. so if any of you think of anybody who you think might enjoy the show. Just let them know, man. We we're we're trying to you know get as many people in on this as possible. 
Y'all, y'all have a, a fucking great weekend. And y'all fuck with the boy Dame and Heston. <laughs> Drop it through, bro. Let's go. Let's go.